Hello, hello, hello. And we're live. Live and. Oh no. And you're all live. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> oh, can hey. we speak now? Can't complain. <laughs> yeah, I never gave you that countdown right, okay. I said I was going to give you, did I? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a countdown, he says. <laughs> um, that was... Let's try that again. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, and we're on. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing, stranger? It's Friday. <laughs> ah, Friday. Happy Friday to everybody who's been who's been suffering a week before. Uh, hope you had a hope you had a good one. Um, yeah. Who have we got in chat? Who have we got in chat? Hey, Jess, you're here. Hey, Strain, you're here. Hey, Infinite Monkey Tails, that's us. Hey, me, Ange, uh, Mel, hey, Rose. Minerva, how's it going? Um, Rose. and Rolls. Hey, Rolls. Hey, Rolls, Mel, Nerva. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> this is for you guys. This is for all you truckers out there. Hope you're having a good one. Um, hey, Super Wolf Leo, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one. Um, yeah, so we are back again, and we're playing. I, I suppose it's is it part two or part three? It's my part two because I wasn't in it until last week. And part three. It's part, part three. It's part three. Part three. It's, it's part two of the new continuity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in this game, we are playing a gang of cyberpunks. Um, and Crappy cyberpunks. We haven't really made our way yet, have we? It's not really... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I definitely include everyone. I'm doing perfectly fine. Hey, Froggy Muff, how's it going? Um, um, yeah, we are, one, we are one man down, or one, one frog down, I should say. Um, to this this uh, this week, um, so there's a, Samuel's will not be joining us. To play and he's the healer. Now. He's the healer. Do we get to yeah. roll, or does how does it shall work? Shall we <clears throat> shall we roll for him? I, I I I will I will I will control Mr. Samuel's, and you can oh, tell okay. me where <laughs> you want to go with things. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah what see. what what's 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 been occurring? Um, do we want? To, we've, what games have we got coming up? And shall I hand over to you in in time. Uh, uh, tomorrow night we have um, the um, mutants and masterminds with Infinite. Um and um, Sunday we are supposed to be having a questions and answers time. So um, I know we haven't decided on the time yet, but I know Lloyd's in, Keen's in, Mark will be in. Will I? No use putting me in because I never know an answer to any question and I just mess up the whole proceedings and it all goes wrong. I'm sure we'll drag it, Infinite in because he'll just troll everybody and just argue any point just because he can. But it's if anyone else wants to go in on the questions and answers, um, we'll decide. I'll decide tomorrow morning what the question is. Yeah, me and um, Josh would go to decide it and then we got distracted. So yeah, so that's Sunday, and then the week goes on with Dungeons and Dragons and um, Vampire the Masquerade. Z session zero is happening offline on Tuesday the thirteenth of April. Um, we've got two vampire games going on. One um, on a Sunday, which is online on Keen's channel. Can someone shout Keen out for me? And um, and he does a Victor Victorian era one, which is so much fun. And Infinite is um, starting a modern day one. Um, he's taking it up to fifth edition, isn't he? That's fifth the... edition, whatever yeah. that means. But that's what he's doing. So we're going to be doing that offline. One of the the offline sessions are a little bit more relaxed and rule learning and and mm. you know chilled out. So um, I mean, I'd like it if we could do it so people could just listen in and not interact. But it's something that technology and yeah, uh, it's possible. Um, yeah. Then yeah, we're popping Monday. into Blades in the Dark, and then the D and D weekends, and um, and then Vampire, which I have done a new update because the Vampire is on the the um, 18th, Sunday the 18th, but that will be flashed up tomorrow. Oh, and then it's me and Andy apparently doing a cruise by the sounds of it. Wow. It yeah, went so well last time. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Oh, that no, we did. We uh, we did run a game. Mark ran a game on Tuesday. Oh, and... can we just forget about that? Yeah, he did Call of Cthulhu, which went monumentally wrong uh, because um, me and Arva and Infinati rolled the work. We talk about bad dice rolls. Mm. Fifteen rolls were made. Not mm. one succeeded. 
not <laughs> one. And it was it was it was it yeah. was a game that me and Croy played one Sunday afternoon and Mark ran for us and we had a whale of a time and we found all these great things and we did all these amazing things. <laughs> Yeah. They couldn't even do anything. The only thing they managed to succeed in was breaking a desk because the roll was so bad. Yeah, they fumbled so many times. So yeah, it was. Oh, it was. It was. Horrendous. I just sat listening to it while I was uh, playing Mr. Prepper in the background, and it was just hilarious <laughs> to listen to them. Just they, it was. I mean, it made our roles last Friday look like professional. Wow. So, and we did bad last Friday yeah. on roles. So. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, that's where we are with that. Um, uh, so, we we're ha- not playing Call of Cthulhu again. We're playing... <laughs> Trail of Cthulhu. Trail of Cthulhu. <laughs> Something that's less build on rules. It's, uh, yeah, slightly yeah. more forgiving for that kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, um... Yeah, we've got a lot so going yeah, on. So, yeah, so that's, that's where we are with that. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, if you haven't already and you want a reminder of all of those things, please do jump into our Discord, uh, Infinite Monkey Tales Discord. Mm-hmm. We have a calendar channel, and on that channel there are various lists of all of the games that are coming on. And as always, if you would like to be involved, because we don't just do this for our own gratification, but that's certainly part of it. And we also really enjoy having new players join us around the table. Um, if we can introduce new games to people who've maybe experienced other tabletop role-playing games and would like to try something a bit different, then that's always a possibility. If you are a DM and you would like to perhaps find a relatively tame group of people to off-rail, derail, and otherwise uh, turn your campaign into uh, something that you didn't think it was, um, then you are oh, able yeah, to. Good at that. You can join us for that. Um, we don't have to stream every game that we play and we don't stream every game that we play so if you're not comfortable or we'd rather maybe the first few sessions aren't streamed until you get your feet under the table then let us know um and yeah we, the, the discord is going in great guns there's a huge number of folk in there so uh, all through the week there's chat going on about tabletop games and, and other stuff as well so please do uh, jump in there if you haven't already add that to your list of channels in discord with that, uh, but in, also you yes. can go over to the YouTube channel to catch up on all oh. our previous ones. Yeah, and thanks to Infinati for keeping that up to date and making sure that all of the videos are up there in a timely fashion. Um, yeah, not almost a timely well, listen, fashion. Listen. Sometimes there's a bit. Uh, any, <laughs> Sometimes anywhere. there's a bit of a panic because then he tells me to remind him to t- to do it, and then I forget to tell him, and then when I remember to tell him, he shouts at me because I did remind him. <laughs> um, um, you know, there, there is a wealth of stuff there for people back catalog to to, to watch up. If you fancy binge <laughs> binge watching some tabletop role playing games from the past few months, then then our our record is there for your delight. Uh, okay, and mm. speaking of delight, I pass over to our games master for tonight, Strain. Good, good evening, everybody. Hope you guys can hear us all well and good. Um, tonight we're playing Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five. It is a adult theme game. There are going to be aspects of the game of drugs, violence, sex, uh, slavery, the works. Um, we don't condone it. It's just a game. We're having fun with it, and hopefully these guys are going to do some good in the futuristic world of Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five. And if they don't do any good, well, they're in trouble then, aren't they? Mm. <laughs> right. Can't we just be good at being bad? Can't we? You, you, you can be good at being bad if that's well, you how yeah, you want just, to roll. Just, just not in your <laughs> usual context. <laughs> so, which one of you lovely, <laughs> lovely people wants to do a recap of last session? Who, who oh, actually oh. took notes? I can, if you want. There you go. Go on, then. Go on then. In my bizarre note-taking, it, now you've got to remember, this note-taking is done in Angela's head. <laughs> I thought you wrote it on paper. <laughs> so She's got the twos down the back of her neck. <laughs> so you, this, see, Jess spilled a drink, so she's lost a chance now. So now you have to put up with me. So, I mean, we've finished one job with lots of crates and we found these two reprobates in the name. cellar. Yeah, it's too late now. So we met two new people um, who came along. One's a hacker and one's, I'm not quite sure what Croy is. Mm. Are you Croy? Mm. Yes. Oh, well. You never shall mind. find out. <laughs> um, a street punk. 
Okie dokie. Um, so um, we then, when we finished that job, we did go back and we traded in the guns and we got loads of wongs. One longs. Wong longs. Wong longs. Wong longs. The currency of the world. Yes. Long guns. So we did that, and then we were approached by Morgan, who asked us to do another job. Um, uh, and is Rico Montoya? Well, yeah, Rico Montoya was the guy that contacted Victoria. Uh, Cy did kind of annoy uh, Mr. Morgan. <clears throat> um, yeah. just, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I remember uh, that. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. so he's, he's... Yeah, we've done two sessions so far, and one member of the party has already upset a senior member of the Underworld. And, and somebody that gives us work. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But, you know, so, so size upsets Morgan, <laughs> yeah? Yes. yes. Size so upset you, you, Morgan. You think, you're, you, you think you'd ask for more than five grand if you're going to go that high up. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but fortunately, we, we knew an even dodgier geezer who gave us an even dodgier job. Yeah, and yes. that job is to go to District 4. That's correct. Where there's police and stuff. We've got to basically... Is... New job, stop van, kill people, get codes. That is indeed it. That's what I wrote. I there put you it go. on Beautiful. the old Beautiful. map of San Francisco. The fantastic artwork is still there. <laughs> uh, it's about 2 a.m. into the uh, early hours of the morning, and you are going to uh, go to District 4 and you have to get some codes from a van. And you're being paid 100,000 wonglongs for this job, but it has to be done before 6 a.m. So you have a bit of time. Um, you know where uh, a location that is being pointed out is a good place for, um, let's just say, any sort of activity you could want to do to stop it. But you always have to decide how you're going to stop it. So we are still at the bar you're just about to, to leave what's the plan where are you going how are you going to do it rico has left you on the the comms and you're all sat round into a bar you've got a drink each so of course you're getting drunker and drunker what's the plan yeah well i mean we um... have, we'll need to stop the van <laughs> ideally somewhere where we can like take it down in silence without have, like well or without raising too many eyebrows for like a side street or something somewhere do you know um, anywhere in district four that might be suitable i tried it didn't we have yeah rico R rico there. sent rico sent over a an area where he That's thinks crazy. it's a good place to actually have the ambush so can we kind of google maps that that some you, bit you, you can yes <laughs> and i i shall I shall, I shall put you across there. We'll say it's, it's a fairly easy thing. Yeah. Yep. If you get in the van, we could even street view it. You could do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should see the map coming up for you guys. Yep, there it is. So we're just gonna. Do, do, do. We're just gonna because there was this. There's a frog. We're missing a frog. No, right. that is one in the van. There, yeah, there is one in the van. <laughs> He's going to stay in the van until we need okay. healing. So, you guys, you have two vans. You have Samuel's um, beat-up yellow van with the Kermit the Frog on the top. And you have uh, um, Atlas's uh, enhanced cyber van. Um, this is the street. There's a sushi bar here. Uh, there's supposed to be very little coverage here because of where it is. It's kind of on the edge of District 4, District uh, 3, and District 5. It's on that it's got a joint sections there's a there's a, a, a hostel here um for recently displaced people which is you know probably quite full uh but so she but a sushi bar here but it's fairly quiet there's a an overpass bridge that you can use uh and the van is going to be coming from uh where the bridge fans are under the bridge and going along this way what time is it now uh it's about two two thirty in the afternoon no in the morning oh we've only got so we've missed them then three and so coming at two. no they're coming now we've got to get them by six right got to get them by six yeah. oh i thought they were coming at two no. 
So it's about 20 minutes to get over there. Yeah. I've got some um, um, of the, the oh, from when I was in the police force, some of the road hippie thing. You, or do you have them or do you know where to get them? Nowhere to get them, but I forgot what they're called. Oh, uh, the stinger, stinger traps. Stingers. Okay, make a quick streetwise roll. Oh dear. See if you know where you can get them from. Um, yes, I will do that. Hold on. Would have helped. Sorry, I didn't have my sheet open. <gasps> I was looking at the map. I was looking at the map. Streetwise. 17. Nice. Yes. Um, there is someone you do know of. Her name's Tinkerbell. Uh, she works for the 16K Triad, one of the gangs in San Francisco, and uh, she has uh, she's a mechanical genius. Um, she has a little chop shop operation that she runs uh, for um, modifying and um, removing vehicles that the 16K Triad uh, kind of uh, uh, obtain. So you're pretty certain that she'll have something along those lines, uh, and she's only about five ten minutes away easy to get there and you know they do most of their work at night okay cool i'll text her and tell her i'm on my way okay yeah yeah you message her on your your, your the comms and uh, tell yeah. her what i need okay yeah i think i can help you out yeah come on over so yes stinger so that's gonna help you uh well it's gonna blow out the tires you hope if it works yeah um, while we're while we're driving over, I would like to forward that note that I found on the computer to everybody here, please. Okie dokie. Because it has a bit of um, relevance to what we're actually doing right now. Possibly, yes, it does. Let me just find it. <coughs> yeah, van fitted with kill switch. You should also see that now, all of you. Mysterious? No? No. I don't see there anything. Is it, yeah, you just go. dropped there into notes. Go. Mysterious note. Got two the mysterious notes. Yeah, we've got a few of them. Oh. That's the one. That's the, the one. The R&D one, okay. Yep. So maybe someone it. wants to oh, read wait. it out. I see it. Bill New, research and development from Dr. Augustus, Dr. Project Nightingale. Update. Project Nightingale continues with no operational issues of note, although a security review is needed as the locals are becoming more intrusive in the area. And I feel we need to de deploy some additional security resources and perhaps instigate a cleansing of the local area to resolve this matter. Returning to matter at hand, the recent data I have gathered is fascinating and will greatly help as we continue to improve and refine the Nightingale matrix and companion data from Nightingale 1 and Nightingale 2. I have no hesitation in confirming that we should be in a position to launch Nightingale later this year. Also, the updated code data we received from Shenzhen really did assist me. You should commend your extraction team. It was a shame my old colleague's heart gave out, but that is the price of progress, Dylan. With the success of this project, I do have one other matter to talk over and be considered once Nightingale is complete. But I think we should discuss that in person once you are fully satisfied with Nightingale. Mysterious. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> can I ask a question, GM? Yes, the, you can. The thing that fell out of the sky in the previous episode. Yes. Who in the first that? episode? Yeah. Um, uh, from what you picked up on the news earlier when you were driving back here, it was a Houston Dynamics. Um, okay. Uh, space vehicle that right. uh, crashed yeah. into the atmosphere, uh, but Houston Dynamics are, you know, they're one of the. One of the big corporations. Yeah. yeah it okay. went down somewhere in the Badlands, I think. It did. In, it was going towards the Badlands, east of San Francisco. Okay. So you guys all hop onto your vans. Um, 
So uh, Samuel's is going to drive his van. Who, who's going with who? Is is it going to be Cyan Atlas or is uh, is uh, Samuel's? Yeah. Okay. So pretty much as it is. Okay. As you are uh, as you are uh, getting into the van, um, Leon, could you just make a quick perception roll for me, please? Oh, okay. no. no. And so it begins. And so it begins. Okay, yeah, so you, you get into there, you know. Yep, fine. And you take the short journey down, following Samuels' van, and, and Vic, you direct Samuels to take you uh, to Tinkerbell's little emporium. As you pull up outside, uh, you can see it's a, a, a quite a nice um, garage area. Um, double Double doors are open. Uh, you can see there's a couple of very, very nice vehicles in there that look really tasty. You know, they kind of make the vans you've got look pretty, pretty shitty. And you can also <laughs> see, uh, you can also see Sinker. I'm just going to show you, I was just going to show you that there. So you can see, that's what you see actually in being worked on at the moment. And... <laughs> Yes, uh, yes. Kruger spoke and God listened. They're not Kruger very spoke. discreet, are they? <laughs> like God driving listened. around the street on. <laughs> yes, they're, 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 I mean, Kruger, you know these because these are Detroit Industries, uh, one of the other corporations. Um, they're they're um, Samson vans and they're very, 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 very nice. Okay, mm. you can also see Tinkerbell. And I'm just going to show you what Tinkerbell is looking like. She looks about 17. She looks <laughs> really, really, really young. Yeah, and that's the picture, you know, she's not a lot of clothing on. There's tools attached to her top. Um, she's got a cyber arm, um, so augmentations in her head. Um, she looks scruffy, street trash, and way, way too young to be in command of this sort of operation unless she's got something about her that makes uh, her work uh, particularly good. Uh, she's not too senior in the 16k triad, but she is. She has the ear of those that run the uh, run the gang. You see, she's um, just working on one of the vehicles. She's actually on top of the one with the gun on it and just checking the actual gun out and just doing some work. She notices you guys and she motions you in. Uh, you can also see there's another vehicle inside on one of the racks and it's having its um, doors removed and they're doing some work on looks like the engine and, and taking some parts out looks quite a posh car for a district 5 chop shop but yeah them's are the brakes sometimes these things come sometimes these things go she kind of loves you hey Vic how's it going you okay, okay. I'm fine Tink Nice. You seem to be working on some subtle vehicles there. Ah, little job we got planned. Little expedition out of the city. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You haven't seen anything. So, you're after a stinger set, huh? Hmm. Yeah, something heavy duty. We've got to stop a van like, dead in its tracks. Hmm. Well, there is no guarantee these days. This is a, a road van, isn't it? It's not an AV, it's not an S spinner van. It's not a flying van, it's a round vehicle, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Hell, I hope not. <laughs> I, I assume so. I think if I not, we'll need a net. net. <laughs> she she kind of looks up and says, just uh, mingle, but don't touch. And she kind of heads off and she goes into the back area and there's racks upon racks of, of spare parts and uh, wheels and engines and... You can actually see a couple of guns on one of the higher racks you're looking around. Uh, there's about four other um, mechanics uh, here. There's also uh, one obvious uh, triad um, thug just sat at the back. He's kind of rested with a gun um, on his resting on his belly as such. Well, it's not a big belly. It's resting there, and he's watching you guys. The others are all kind of. Just looking around and just getting on with it. A bit of music playing in the uh, in the background. Uh, you guys recognise it? It's uh, a local San Francisco artist called Crystal Rose um, doing one of her new 
electropunk tracks or something. It's very heavy, very mechanical. Um, Atlas, you, you know Crystal Rose, not personally, but you know her music. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, she was in a, a, a bit of a, let's just say, a bit of an interesting relationship with a, a, a British um, a British electro punk star called Johnny Banger. And there was a bit <laughs> of a there was a bit of a, a breakup over something and a little bit of hassle between uh, uh, Johnny Banger and uh, Crystal Rose. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was in the it was in the news. Yeah, a few well, days ago. I suppose they both get to write a breakup single about it. They'll probably they, they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one sad and one always happens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look at Johnny Banger, you picture you know Billy Idol, and you get the effect um, of what Johnny Banger is and that sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, you kind of uh, going and see Tink is, is just searching stuff. You guys having a look around or just standing there looking? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, by the hardware. Yeah. Okay. The, right. The, so the, the, the vans are quite. Doing a bit of a, I'm doing a bit of a ex cop look around and thinking, hmm, this is interesting. I'm trying to work yeah. out if I can get anything from it. Yeah, I think we've okay. got a job coming up. Um, <laughs> well, the. The, the vehicle might be going into the Badlands for some unspecified reason. Or possibly. <laughs> that you probably know, is very tangentially <laughs> related to anything. Who knows? <laughs> for, for those military uh, people who have served in the military, what's nice about one of the vans is the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Bushwhacker High Velocity 17.7 millimeter mounted gun. Um, it's a big gun. Nice. Yeah. So it's, a, it's a big gun. It's, <laughs> it's designed to take out other vehicles, mechs, that sort of thing. Uh, normally, it's um, normally it's only fitted onto um, uh, heavily armoured military vehicles, corporate military vehicles. But where she got one from, you don't want to know because you know you're looking <laughs> about two and a half million just for the base chassis, <gasps> and then you're looking probably another half a million for the gun maybe another million for the gun and then the ammunition to go with it uh but these are these these are really really nice rugged uh six wheel vehicles they've got um extra power cells for long long journeys <laughs> and uh, you, you can see that uh from from a, a standard vehicle uh looks like tink's done a little bit of work there's a bit of extra armor plating on them over normal and it looks like she's done some work on the suspension as well um, but they are nice, <coughs> nice bits of kit. But it does kind of look like someone's going to war. Uh, it looks like well, it, it's it's, it's a sort a of, of yeah, it's it's a sort of conspicuous vehicle for you know anywhere other than District Five. Uh, yeah. But you know you don't normally get to see that sort of level of hardware in the area. So yeah, it's it's pretty nice. But yeah, uh, if if one of the other gangs decide to raid this place and get hold of them, it could definitely open up a whole new yeah, set of, of, of gang war in San Francisco. Wait, we're a gang. Yeah. Yeah. We're well, you think she gang. does rental? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask her. So Vic, you're having a look around. Can you just make a quick investigation roll for me, please? Certainly can. <clears throat> I swear it's going to be a really good roll. Oh, you've jinxed it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah, looking around, there's half a dozen illegal things that uh, any any cop would pick her up on if the police actually came down into District 5, which they don't. They're too scared. They have an anonymous tip. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> but they wouldn't even come down on an anonymous tip. It literally it is too, too dangerous uh, in District 5. Not a good place for police anyway. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some illegal modifications going on. The weapon on the truck is definitely military issue. Shouldn't be anywhere uh, with civilian population. Um, there's a couple of engines uh, that look like they don't belong in anything you would normally see in, in a District 5 um, car. Um, yeah, there's weapons, there's some ammunition, there's fuel cells, uh, there's survival equipment, there's the whole whack of stuff that is um, is not looking good. As you are uh, looking around, you can see the uh, the thug with a gun just kind of stands up and he's just walking towards you. Smiles as he keeps an eye on you. <clears throat> uh, Sai, what are you doing? Are you having a look around? Yeah, I'm walking stand? around and I'm just I've, I'm just walking about, uh, recognising perhaps some of the hardware that's on the back 
um, and, and just kind of looking, um, standing at one point and just stopping and staring at the gun uh, and remembering back perhaps to some time in, in you know, corporation history yep. where I was perhaps at the back of one of these things and not actually uh, feeling particularly happy yep. at that point. You see a kind of rather annoyed look on his face as he scorns away and turns away um, and, and looks around and joins up with the, other, the rest of the party. Well, Medistrike being a, a, a US-based corporation, they only try only to buy US, um, US products. So Detroit Industries owned another US company. Yeah, they, they used a lot of Detroit industry stuff. Uh, SMGs, the vehicles, mm. uh, body armor sets. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff you, you know, kind of flash back on. Yeah. And kind of, yeah, just uh, a second as you head back. You can see Tink comes out to uh, to Vic and she says, I've got a little briefcase, it's, you know, that sort of size, that big. She kind of hands it to you. There you go. Uh, it's not free though. I gotta make some money, you know. Looking. It's fine. Twenty thousand. She smiles at you. I don't even know how much money I've got. Wait, I don't think I've got that much. You might have slightly more than that. You, you got paid twenty-five thousand for. Yeah. Well, you got paid a little bit for that. She's taking job. the piss. You wanna. You wanna bring her down Haggle. a step or two. Haggle. Yeah. Oh, I got thirty-two. Um. Um. Yeah, I started blasting. Yeah. Think it's me. <laughs> a better figure than that. Uh, I'm not playing your games. Make make a persuasion roll. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, oh my god, I swore. Sorry. <laughs> it's an adult stream. We've already gone through that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be swearing later, and I don't do a lot of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for flipping heck! Okay. Oh my lord. <sighs> for you, 15. Can't do any less than that. We only picked this up two days ago. <laughs> the, the police vehicle, it came out of it. It's out the back. Shh. Hmm. If um, there's anything else you can throw in that might be able to help us. How about one of them pointing to the truck? <laughs> Yeah, 5k, 5K extra for the truck. Yeah. Sorry, did you see anything? I give Sai a quick look. There's a lot going on here. There's, there's a huge amount. We need to come back here with some money and get some of this. This is great. This is really good stuff. We need to come back here with some money and get Sai, some of this. Sai, Sai, is there anything here that might help tonight? Yeah. Nothing we can afford. I, I've not got enough money for any of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess that... Um... If we're wealthy enough to buy the stuff here, we could probably pay someone to come and get it for us. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you can see Tinkerbell kind of turns to, to you, Leon. She kind of looks at you and smiles. Ah, I can throw in a cup of coffee. It's real coffee. Real beans. 13. Beans. <laughs> 13, Tink. 14, lowest I can go. You need the stuff, you pay for it. Maybe you don't should, need it stuff. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you should see if you can do finance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say, uh, uh, yeah, it's a deal. These lot will all come in on it as well. Well, you are going to make 100k for this job, so yeah. Yeah, but I'm not fronting all the cash. I mean, you wanted the stinger. <laughs> <laughs> If this like succeeds with our cash <laughs> because of the stingers, I will take that. Okay, I'll take that back then. No, no. <laughs> we don't have any stingers. Krug is going to throw himself under the van. <laughs> yeah. okay. the, um, Krug is going to jump on the van from a helicopter. <laughs> I, I get my phone out and I usually, yeah, usually and I, yeah. I, I send it over and. Um, okay, not 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 the fourteen off of your uh, your uh, stash and, and make a note that you know. You need 14 out of the, yes. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah. you worry. <laughs> Atlas, you kind of listen to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Crystal Rose soundtrack. You kind of notice that everyone's kind of gone into the garage and kind of left you outside. You know. Huh. Huh. I'm okay with this. Yeah, that kind of look. Even Sai's gone. He doesn't normally leave your side for too long. Must have been something <laughs> really exciting in there. Are you doing anything? I'm just making a whole ton of origami. Okay. Scouting it around the place. That's all I'm doing. Actual ton of origami. 
Actually, some horror yeah. movie. Yeah. I have a lot of paper in my van. Yeah. Yeah. Can you make a, a quick? No unicorns, I hope. Can you make a quick <laughs> robotics roll, please? What? <laughs> Okay. The cyber origami. You're in the future yeah. now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You kind of just while you're doing your origami, you're checking on the head that you have in your van that now has stopped bleeding. You know, with yeah, some paper towels. Oh, Jimmy Lee's there. head. I forgot we brought that with us. Yes, and it's it's kind of it's still working there. Um, yeah. Do a few Weird checks aspect. and thing on it. You don't think there's any any visual recording on there, but you're not entirely sure. Um, if you need to spend some more time with it, just leave it there and, and maybe it'll, you know, maybe it'll work out in the end. You never okay. know. Okay. <laughs> you never know. Also, these bushwhacker guns, do you think they could be man portable? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Depends on the man. <laughs> yeah. He's going to make like, ah. some flower origami and put it in the synth's hair. <laughs> Uh, mm. maybe, maybe if you got, um, maybe if you got Leon to kneel down, you place it on his back. That might be a platform enough. But you know, I don't know. I've got a feeling that that's some kind of, um, yeah. I think there's, there's my union of have issues with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, uh, Leon, can you make a? What do I want you to make? <laughs> <laughs> While well, we're talking that way, whatever it is, the answer is no. It's a, make a, please make a unionize roll. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make a, a mind saving throw, please? Uh, a what? Okay, on your under your proficiency bonus, there's three saving throws: fortitude, reflex, and mind. Click the mind one. You probably oh, have. Yeah, sorry, I missed that. Oh, you bugger! You chose the one I was I was the worst at as well, didn't you? I, I didn't choose anything. Hey, fifteen height. <laughs> I rolled above ten. Okay. Okay. You just kind of, kind of shake your head. Something kind of flashes into the the android data cortex uh, of your mind, and you kind of see. Uh, let me know if you see that. I've, I've put something in your journey, Leon. The image one. Just kind oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. flashes, flashes oh. in in your in your mind. Kind of, kind of, yeah. kind of just tingles and fuzzes just a little bit. Um, Samuel's kind of notices because he came in with you. He noticed yeah. you. You okay? Just kind of puts his hand on your shoulder. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You're sweating a bit. So. You can feel you you do have a, a bit of a sweat on. It must be warm in here. Is that the first time that I've seen that thing? That's the first time you've seen that thing. <clears throat> um, I just look down at Samuels and I'll say, yeah, I am. yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going back out to the van. You need me. You know where I am. And he kind of trots off outside sure. the van. Okay, you can see... Uh, Tink um, kind of hands over the case after the transaction is completed. Have fun with that. Don't get caught uh, by the police with it. They're they're logged. There's a there's a serial number on there. It's logged to the car that um, kind of fell into the back passage. You know, I don't know. Just don't get caught with it. We won't get also caught, make, you know also that. Also make sure to oh. follow the operating instructions. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's fairly simple. You you lay it across the road and it kind of goes yeah. off. And <laughs> it, still, it still manages to kill people when activated. That's that's true. Potentially. potentially. <laughs> okay, so that's taken about you know 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, are you heading over to the site of where you're going to ambush? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let us put you on the map. You drive over there without incident. You go into District 4. You see a couple of police vehicles, but no one seems to stop you or do anything to hinder you. And you should see the street scene now. Yes, someone's moving the vans. Mm. It's really, 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 really,
it's fairly quiet this area you know get the occasional vehicle going by um i said what's your plan go to go to wherever you're gonna set up are you gonna investigate anything or look at anything I'm going to keep an eye out for how many cameras I see on the way, knowing okay. that there will be more that I'm yeah. not seeing. Make a quick perception roll then, please. Sure. Where is my perception? I'm here. Got it. <laughs> There's no <laughs> cameras that you can see. I'm more distracted showing Sai the cool origami <laughs> that I've just made. Like, look at this unicorn. <laughs> yes, it's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look around as well, like okay. see what's in the areas behind, he like the kind of background areas, like here. Yep. Um, okay. Like these shops around here, just sort of like the vantage points I was thinking of putting people. Okay, make a make uh, a, a perception. In fact, everyone make a perception. Room. Let's have a, a little look around. Bar, bar uh, Jess, who has seen absolutely everything that's to see here, and there's nothing <laughs> exciting at all. Yeah, she did a Yeah, she she looked thought she'd look from the inside of a locked van. It, it even looks like a nice neighbourhood, really. Yeah. 19 for say. <laughs> yep. Oh. Boom. Good rolls. I've peaked. This is all down, downhill it's from peaked. here. Yes, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Ange and Leon. Oh, Leon I got rolled a 12. A I got a 12. 12. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll just see if Ange can make a perception roll. It doesn't really matter. Oh, she does. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh me. Oh then Victoria. Yeah, there's there's um there's uh two people in the sushi bar. There's a, a guy uh behind the counter serving, and you can see there's a a, a San Francisco police department officer, uh, a beat cop there. <laughs> um you can see the, the the hostel over on this side over here. Yeah, it looks like there's people in there, but a lot of the, the rooms are all, the windows are all blackened out, so nothing to see much. Yeah. Uh, the bridge, you, you get the occasional person crossing the bridge to cross the road. You're getting cars every five, five, ten minutes or so. Uh, looks like there's some space up um, in the host hostel car park where you can park the vans. Um, and I think you decided, I mean, where you put the stinger trap, I don't know. Yes, Atlas yeah. is going around and there's no cameras there, Atlas. No cameras at all. And yes, for you guys, <laughs> there are, surprisingly, only one camera. And that's inside the sushi bar, pointing okay. down at the customers, not pointing out on the streets. I was you can see, check there as well. You, you, you can see the cop kind of comes out. He's got some, he's got some sushi. Uh, gun in a holster. He's a uniform cop. And he kind of goes off down this right. way uh, and <laughs> just kind of heads away and you can see the guy in the shop you know it's early hours of the morning this is not a great party district so it's quite quiet what's the uh, weather kind of there. uh weather is fine there's no rain no cloud it's fairly clear you can you can see the smog above you but it's you know, it's you know it's not descended low to impart your impair your vision so yes it's, it's actually a good night no acid rain or anything like that Although that could change. Hang on. Sorry, what rain? <laughs> Acid rain. rain. It's a thing. Yeah. I mean, it's been <laughs> for a while. And it, it does do damage. So yes, yeah. Acid rain's bad. Burns. Yeah, yeah it's nasty. Uh, yeah, basically, um, San Francisco, smoggy a lot of the time. Rain, horrible weather. Um, but yeah, the the air quality is. It's okay. It's probably one of the good days for a, for a, a crisp February, uh, February uh, early hours of the morning. Okay. Where are you going to put the sticker then? Uh, What's the plan? Probably... Okay. Uh, oh. So there's a plan I came up with, but <clears throat> who, who do you want to change to go do something different? Because okay. we can use the sticker to prevent the escape if we block them off on the road. So you want to put it down after they've driven past. That's the. Yeah. So we let them drive past. We pull the van out the front, and then yeah, throw the stinger out back. Yep. How how are you going to stop the van? So we are going to drive the van. We could set up uh, <laughs> Samuel's van because it's the older, yeah. busted one, and we're looking to fix it anyway. Is we're looking to have it like up on the sort of where these other vehicles are parked here. Yeah. And just do that kind of the yieldy thing of like as they come along, it pulls out. 
kind of gets himself stuck in the road and then that forces the other car to stop. Well, you and could just pretend point, you're broken just... down in the middle of the road. Yeah. Yeah, Are so you going to do some acting, Victoria? So they can't go around. Uh, so I think if Samuels could do that... Um, you want Sam Sam Samuels to drive out, yeah? Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's <laughs> kind of reluctantly going, don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't damage the van, but uh, I think I could do yeah. that. He's, he's overly yeah. attached to the seafood. Keep a shit. Yeah, it's been <laughs> him and you for a, um, a while now. Don't damage yeah. it. How would you tell? Yeah. So what else break some of the tape. Is, um, <laughs> yeah, then we can basically we can scramble that camera or wipe it or whatever we want to do uh, once we inform our elite hacker security expert that they missed something. Um, who's, who's currently like walking over the bridge can, at the moment? Yeah, like we can have someone run out and toss out the stinger behind the van so it can't reverse back out once we start the attack. Okay, yep. We um, could do the classic damsel in distress, broken down van, middle of the road. Yeah, we could do. Tamsel, Samuels is quite a good damsel in distress. Um, <laughs> Hello. He's got the then as they hand. pull up, as they pull up, we just pull out from under the bonnet with a gun. Get out. Okay. Uh, while we have other people around that can, uh, like, uh, what I was thinking, we could have people up on the walkways. Yep. Uh, yeah. To cover the back angles, and they also have an elevated position. Yeah. Uh, we could get someone either by the sushi bar once we've taken care of the cameras, or to come around the the billboards here, and then chuck out the singer behind the truck. Sai will be on um, foot uh, at the bottom yeah. levels, close to the whatever the action's going to happen. Yeah, because then we could chuck that out, block their escape. And then, if they able to get the doors open, they could throw the doors open on the back. Okay. Or whatever. And then our raised people can then just so take fire. Pla yeah, place your tokens where you are going to be ready for the ambush. Where are people like to be? So uh, I think two people up on the walkway, one by the sushi yeah. bar who could do the the stinger. Um. Is that Sai? Sai doing the stinger? Uh, oh, if he wants to. Or I'll put anyone, Samuels anyone. over there. Yeah. Did you want to do the broken down van thing, or are you just going to do a wee and get in front and stop them? Well, it, it, it kind of does the same thing, because they'll, they'll pull to a stop either way. Uh, I think if they've got secret cargo, they're less likely to get out and try and like help someone who's broken down. So mm. I think it's kind of much of a muchness, I was thinking. Uh, we just make it quick, uh, and the less less we draw attention to it, the, I guess, the faster we can get in and out. Just stop them, stop them getting away, and then just rush them and kill them all. Uh, okay. And then just book out. Um, okay, I so... I was thinking of having Kruger down this way. Yep. So we can cover Samuels, because he wants to make sure Samuels gets out okay, and also yep. he can help deal with anyone in the front seat, uh, passenger or driver side. Okay, uh, yep. So I've parked up and I've hidden, and I would like to go into the back of my van and check on the computer for cameras nearby at this time. Okay, make a uh, hacking roll. We'll, we'll let her know that there's a, secu there's a security camera in the sushi place. Um, to see if it helps her connect to it. Okay. Stop van using other van. Someone on board. I'm just writing this down. I'm, I'm not rolling there. great. Okay, yeah, you can detect there's only one, one, one camera, it's in the sushi bar, and it's not linked, it's on a self-contained circuit. Ah, uh, no. Okay. I would so have to probably probably a, to Yeah, it's, 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 it's probably a very old system, you know, you know, VCR tape sort of system. Now, I suggest for, like, Sai, or if anyone who goes in front of the sushi bar, just make sure you cover your faces. Um, yeah. How long have we got that before the van arrives? Uh, it's going to be some time. You've got. Um, you, you're going to get notified when it's close. Right. Uh, you know yeah. that uh, Rico has got some sort of uh, observation or way of seeing where it is. Yeah. But that's going to be just a quick. Then we can get in and out. Okay. I'm hoping there'll only be like two to six people to deal with. Yep, so where are you planning to put the stinger? Can you mark on the map where you're going to put the stinger? Uh, I was thinking... Do we know how big is the van? Where? I imagine it's going to be like ridiculously huge. It's going to be bigger than your vans, but you know, probably not yeah. Not, not an 18 meter. It's going to be a... 
I think uh, the Stingers... So the the sting van's... Then we stop the van there. The Stingers yeah, being deployed after the van has arrived, yeah. though, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So I was imagining, yeah, like along there. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Like just behind wherever it is. It's not a very good car, is it? <laughs> I'll be <laughs> Give it some wheels. <laughs> <laughs> no, there thank we go. God, my, my immersion was completely destroyed before. Who's joined on me, Van? <laughs> no one. <laughs> 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 so they're ba yeah. yeah. Van of the future. And yeah. the stingers behind yeah. it. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. Samuels and I can handle the front, or whoever wants to be in the in the in the van can handle the front, and then we have potential people on the back to cover the back door or sides. Okay. We've got two people at the back there. Where's Samuels? Samuels is going to be in the van, so I've put him at the top yeah. for now. Sorry, I moved that van. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Getting out of control. <laughs> Well then, it's snapping. Oh, so where's Miss Victoria going to be? <laughs> there you go. You need to hold alt while doing it so it doesn't snap. <laughs> ah. All right. Um... Oh, we're doing... Well, I've okay. got guns and stuff, so I'm going to be ready to come out and gun to the window. Oh, I wonder if he's bulletproof okay. windows. Size wearing. Size wearing is hooting a mask. He's in his battle dress. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, so if, if Vic wants to back I've up... I've already got him. Um, uh, Kruger will go uh, to the back, as like along here, I guess, so I can okay. handle the side and then the back door. Okay. <clears throat> right, so you all will settle down to wait. Let's, yeah. um... Let's kind of move the van back over there for now okay yeah um can you all make one more perception roll please <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't do it i don't do it i rolled a one falls apart this is where it all falls apart oh, oh. jesus Julian. Oh bloody god, hell yeah. Oh, I hate roll 20 rolling so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, right. Um, uh, Leon, Leon got a 22. We got a natural 20, if that helps. That, that, that does quantity, help. Yeah. Okay. That does help. It's, <laughs> up, it's up. quantum dice rolling nonsense. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, uh, up here, <laughs> you, you thought you saw a shadow up there, and you definitely saw movement moving away. Um, disappeared. Right. Okay. We got throat mics, right? You have got internal comms. Yeah. You've got comms to talk to each other. Um, I hate to break this to you, folks, but it looks like we might have company. Oh, oh, I'll put a little, little rectangle up there of where you saw it. Yeah. But it's definitely, way, it's definitely of... gone now. You want me to yeah, I'm, assuming they, I'm assuming they kind of look towards me as I say that because they know where I am, and I'm yes. pointing up towards that. Okay. Do you want me to intercept? I can, I can chase them down. I can find them. I'll take them out. sure it wasn't just somebody having a fag break or something? Yeah, hopefully it's, it could just be a local um, or someone else in for the prize. Uh, hopefully it's not an, a spotter for the convoy. Sorry. How do you even get up there? I don't know. Exactly. I try right. to think. Is that is that area is that still higher than the walkway or is it? Yes, it's, it's higher than higher than the walkway. Okay. Do but Leon Le Le Leon's on the walkway, so he's a bit higher up. So mm, yeah. hence, hence why his his role was obviously so good. He was closer to the situation. Right, Leon. Can you also now make another mind save, please? Oh man. Um. <laughs> About to start seeing uh, No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Let me just do uh, this. Is it the right range? Do you see that note come for you? Leon, image two. Uh, oh. 
Okay, and, and I'm seeing this in my vision, am I? Is that the? This is just kind of you. Kind of, it's suddenly it's 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 there. It's right in front of you. Um, and it's oh just a, a moment of just yeah. insanity. And God, there's something. Uh, and then suddenly, you kind of get getting a little bit of a headache. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then you see this, and I think maybe we'll show the audience in a little bit. <laughs> do you see Leon image three? I, I do. Oh, I don't. I don't. I would like to see image three. Oh, why is he oh, there? Uh, why is he there? It's in his head. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Atlas, okay. Atlas, could you hack Leon so we can join in on his hallucination? Yes, yes, I'm shocking sure <laughs> right now. <laughs> you're, not, you're not helping with the cameras, are you? So, so the the image three. And I, I wish I could show the audience. We'll show the audience. Yeah, yeah but I bet, I bet to you, all I'm saying right now is what they're probably hearing over the mic is something like, um, Asimov. What the fuck? As, Asimov. All right, well, now's not the time to start be muttering about your favorite authors. Um, we've got a job to do. <laughs> okay. Asimov. And it kind what are you of talking about? goes, and it, they they kind of gone out of your mind. They were there, and you know it's kind of gone then, and kind of shake your head, and a little bit of sweat mm. pouring down your brow, um, and you're a little bit distracted. But yeah, okay, freaky, freaky. Um, and then suddenly you 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 remember that in the back of Jesse's van is, is a head. Atlas's. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Alice, sorry, Alice's van is a synth's head. A synth. Mm. You're a synth. Kind of just kind of I, I, I shiver know. down your uh, your spine there for a second. Yeah. I'm looking after it. It's covered in origami. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. He looks. He looks very pretty. Should, should we? <laughs> should, should we show the audience what mm. we saw? I, I think we should. Because I think, I, I think it's, it's, it's... Is this where we look away? Oh, this no, is where, no, no. you know, look, I may <laughs> or may not have seen things you people wouldn't believe. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh... Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> she about to go loco on us. Start a <laughs> so you should, should be able to see uh, Leon image one, two and three. Yeah, I can see them, yeah. Yeah, definitely. chat can see them. Yeah. There you go, chat. Images for you, a gentleman, Mercedes, to be proud of. Uh, it's Isaac Asimov, if anybody's interested. Yeah. So, so what was image one, then? Uh, image one is HAL 9000. <laughs> uh, image, um, image two? What's image that? Image two, I don't know. Is it Android's Dream of Electric Sheep? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? You androids dream of me. You tell me. Hey, you've just excelled on nerdy nerdism there, Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, at that point, you know, when you're kind of a bit confused, uh, Vic, your your comms goes, it's Rico Montoya. Uh, the band's two minutes out, he says to you. We'll be ready. Oh, I know that is. <laughs> yes, Dave. Okay, what are you doing, so Dave? you're all in position. Yeah, he is. Okay, right. So the time passes almost very slowly. You know, still a bit of sweat coming down uh, mm. Leon's brow. Do um, I have anybody that I know that I can that could run the diagnostics? Uh, on, probably on, Samuel's. On me. Probably Samuel's. He he will have some yeah. robotics and um, um, uh, and, and medical skill. Okay. Okay. Right. You, you can see. He says. That looks a lot cooler than the van that Lloyd imagined. It, it definitely is. I'm I'm going to show you uh, an <laughs> image of what it looks like. You know, I mean that wasn't the, that wasn't the van I imagined. I would just like to point that out. I didn't start drawing the blood. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you see—a Vilnius robotics truck. Oh. 
Oh, it's just, it's that's just going to have bulletproof bad. windows, isn't it's just it? It's going to be one of those like robotics trucks where the truck itself turns into like a mech, a la like robot <laughs> conspiracies. Or it could be, it could be something like I, I robot with the the back opens and all the robots yeah, come it's, out. It's it's one fifth of a, Don't ro say of a that. megazord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's kind of coming along here. Okay, um, Leon, from your position, you can see there are two armoured guards, helmets and body armour, uh, in the front. You can't see into the back. Okay, so it's coming along to here. Uh, no. Samuels. Let's make a driving roll for Samuels. <laughs> can he... This will be the one of those As times it... where like, he just can't start his car. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> see By any chance, As it goes past... Kruger and Leon, can they see what kind of tyres it has? Yes, yeah, you, you can do. Let me just um, let me just okay. quickly do a um, big uh, ones. A, a roll yeah. to Samuel. Are they bulletproof tyres? They're, yeah. just, they're just yeah, they're just they're just mechs. They don't have tyres. They just have just metal parts that scrabble along the ground. <laughs> oh nice. Just for show. Okay, so yes, he kind of oh, uh, crap brings. If he smashes yeah. his van up, it's his own fault, right? <laughs> okay, I mean, just all gonna... he had to do was roll it forward. Anything else is on him. <laughs> uh, so got a front and I'm guessing, has it got back doors? Like, where are the uh, doors are? Yes, on it, has, it has back doors and side doors. Let me just um, as soon get as... rid of the and quite see them on the video. On as soon as I see the truck... not going to be good. As soon as I see the truck pulling forward... Oh, it's not pulled forward. Yes, it is. I'm just trying to delete the, um, the graffiti. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Um, oh you can we not delete it ourselves? I thought we could. Probably. But there's about three different people's graffiti on there. Ah. Uh, I'm not actually sure how to delete it. Oh, I so wasn't I'm just doing it individually because I don't want to accidentally delete the hack of them. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> right. Okay. So. It might blow up. Oops. Yeah. He pulls his van out, um, and the security guard inside kind of breaks his vehicle hard. You can see the guy in the passenger seat is drawing a weapon, and they're looking out. You can see they don't seem to see anyone bar Sammy. Sammy's kind of getting out. Ah, it broke down, it broke down. Yeah, I'd actually love it if he, he rolled badly enough in driving that he looks more convincing because he just smashes into a lamppost. Okay, yeah, his 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 kind of <laughs> performance roll is yeah not fantastically good, um, but you know he has to do what he can do. Okay, yeah, and anyway, the... yeah, he's in right. position. Yep, Sai, can stage you make... two. stage two? Yeah, yes. Sai steps forward out the shadows. And then from underneath the stairs next to the sushi bar, right. um, with these two up. What do I roll to check? Can to you see? make a technology roll, just a straight technology roll? Twenty. Nice. nice. Fantastic. You deploy uh, the stinger. The vehicle comes back. Rear tires blow as it goes over the stinger, and it kind of ends go. up there. Um, all four of the rear tires have blown out. Um, the guys in the front, the driver is fine, but the guy next to him bangs his helmeted head onto the dashboard. <laughs> Uh, as he's uh, suddenly the vehicle is suddenly stopped, uh, and can we all have now initiative rolls? Yes. Oh. Uh, I love it when a plan Damn comes it. together. <laughs> I've lost where initiative is. Bear with me. Yep. Same. You've I'll lost the initiative, it. you say. <laughs> I haven't found it. Where is it? Uh, I it's to um. Uh, I rolled a three for above eleven. Above your <laughs> guns, above your gun thing. He hit dice, HP. Oh, hang on, hang Wait, on. I have to click on my person. Right? Yeah, click on, yeah, click on your token, please. And then there you go. 
Okay, Kruger should be added to the initiative now. Yep. I'm trying to think where the initiative thing is. Because, oh, there we go. There it is. There we go. Of course, what do you guys get? So, Atlas got a 10. That's on there. Uh, I got, got there. a 9. You got an 18, did you? 17, yes. Did it's on there, so, yeah? Yeah, so it's the old one. Samuel's is still I never cleared it from last time because I'm a, a sucker for it. Leon got a 22. So, that's about right, isn't it? So, uh, let's do an initiative roll for Samuel's. He gets. He got a 17 as well. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. The back door opens as well as. The driver's door opens, and if I can remember how to do this quickly. At least we don't have to worry about the bulletproof glass now. Oh, um, yeah, I've got my gun out. <laughs> okay, do you see the three three mobs on there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Leon, you can also see... Um, pop, 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 the ten more behind them. <laughs> <laughs> you can also see that guy there from your position. Oh, okay. He okay. looks fancy. And uh, he's kind of in a just a, a lab uh, overalls with a lab coat on. Gotcha. Okay, so Leon, what are you going to do? Two guys um... have come up. They seem somewhat startled, and they are pulling weapons, but they are uh, a bit slow at the moment. Okay, I will. I think I'm going to try and get a drop on one of them. Um, yeah and see if I can hit this guy. I want to keep using the bridge's cover if I can as well. Yep, yep. Um, so I'm going to kind of point over the top, shoot one of the guys, and then duck back yep, you're, you're, you're uh, over the bridge. Cover. Yep. You're the only um, one that's got cover. Oh. Huh? Almost like well, I planned it. Apart from Atlas. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Atlas uh, missed not appearing in this combat. She doesn't even know there's a van here. <laughs> yeah. I play a computer game, forgot my headphones, I didn't even hear the bang She's outside. Like, guys, can He's you, got the origami. Yeah, guys, can you stop the explosions? I'm trying to um, get the origami in here. <laughs> right, so there you are. Let's see. Um, I've rolled an 18 and the lowest possible damage that is possible nice. with this gun. Okay, <laughs> yes. A beautiful <laughs> shot. A beautiful shot. Straight <clears> to <throat> his chest. But yeah. you see the armour uh, seems to absorb all of the bullets. Dibs. Uh, definitely um, high tech, not you know super high tech combat armor. I think you recognise it as uh, TCE full body armor and helmet. Okay. So tough stuff to get through. Um, and as I'm kind of du ducking back onto the bridge, I'm through my comms. I'm shouting. I'm counting through at the back and a guy in the in the van, uh, okay. the driver. Right, Samuels is uh, doing the the best thing that he can do. He's kind of moving back over to there, and he's going to draw his weapon, and he is going to shoot, maybe. Uh, if, of course, he realises that uh, his range is pretty crap. Uh, yeah, he's going to shoot that one. <laughs> okay, nice. So, uh, yep. He's shot uh, this guy here. <laughs> Actually penetrates uh, penetrates the armor. Okay, yep. So that guy's taken a shot. Uh, kind of winded, not sure where it is. And you see he's struggling to get his gun out. Uh, Victoria, what are you doing? I've... Um... 
I grab my um revolve uh Okay guys, which is the one I would grab in this situation? A revolver that's got piercing or a heavy pistol that's ballistic. Revolver that's got piercing, because piercing is armor piercing ammunition. Okay, I grab that and I head towards this guy here. So with my gun and and I shoot it as I approach him on this, him. This guy, this this guy here, right? Okay, yep, yeah. yep. Okay. Uh, as you run across there, you do see there is another guy that seems to be shaking his head inside the cab. Uh, there, on that side. Well, okay. if I was allowed, I would shoot one gun at him and one gun at the other guy. But we know we can't do that. So no, you can't okay. at the moment. Okay. Yes. Make your attack roll against uh, this guy then. Crit, crit, crit. <gasps> ah. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so yes, your bullet actually impacts into him. Uh, nice damage roll. Uh, his armor doesn't mitigate any of the damage. So your bullet goes straight through uh, the armor, straight into his chest. Doesn't take him down. Uh, but uh, yeah, he looks pretty, pretty badly injured. Blood kind of pouring out of the wound. Um, he's taken two shots now, and he kind of drops down to, to one knee, kind of staggering as if he's in a bit of pain. So, yes. And I turn and shout to the other guy, get out the van now. Okay, yeah. I mean, okay, I, make, I think that's make, what he wants to do. Make, make a quick intimidation roll, please. Oh, I'm so scary. Oh. <laughs> okay, he kind of puts his, his hand up and kind of drops, he doesn't have a gun, kind of... He's got a helmet on. The helmet's got a, a crack uh, where his uh, helmet hits the um, uh, hit the dashboard, and it kind of just opens. It gets out and kind of just drops down to his knees. And let me just make shit. Sure. Did you say he's got a cam on his helmet? No, he's got a oh. crack in his helmet. Yeah. Okay. So Moment of panic there. So he is there. Hit the and... deck. Yeah, he's basically yeah, gone the, down. The cam's on the dashboard. We kind of put that on him to show that he's uh, quite inactive at the moment. Okay, so that's your action. Sigh. Is the, uh, is the van still... Is the motor still going on the, on the van? Oh, oh, the motor's still going. This um, guy is, is is down on his knees. Yeah. With his hand, one hand behind his head. Can the I? Sushi, sushi guy behind you has ducked down behind the counter. Yeah. Can I go? Can I try and get into the van and reverse it over the two guys that I see behind it? Uh, <laughs> the van controls the steering wheels on this side. That's the driver. Oh, this okay. guy was the passenger. So you'd have to climb over him. Difficult terrain. Get in, and yeah, you could probably give it a go, but. You know, you yeah. Swords, you know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Is there a driver? The driver's out though, isn't he? The driver's out here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the passenger, but Anne seems to. Oh, sorry, Victoria seems to have um, subdued him for now. Yeah. And then you've got two guys over here that are potentially putting weapons. Yeah, I think given that, uh, I'm gonna try. Can I use my movement to get into the driver's seat and try and reverse it backwards over those guys? Oh. Yeah, yeah go, go, make um, make an athletics roll to get in there, and then you'll have to. This is to... where we see the darker side of people's personalities coming out. One round to get in there, and then next round you'll be I able mean, to try and reverse it. I mean, we're about to murder a handful of people. I don't really know if this is the time to have moral quandaries. Well, the, the, instru <laughs> the instructions were to, to, to kill them all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. You you jump over over oh, this guy and he kind of ah and you you get into the van and you try and climb over and you'll get into the driver's seat for the next round. Okay, Atlas, what are you doing? Uh, hearing any commotion outside, which I'm guessing I have definitely heard now. Yes, you have. <laughs> I will. Um, I'm going to cast Comms Blackout. Okay. Yep. And. I'm going to run five. Five. I'm going to stand on the corner here, just sort of next to Samuels. Yep, okay. And that's all I'm doing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, you can see the uh, the two guys at the back kind of just almost reach to their helmets to see what's going on, what's going on. Can't, can't, can't hear anything, can't, yeah, do anything like that. 
And now, finally, the most prepared, the leader, <laughs> Alex, what are you doing? Uh, I will open fire on the same soldier that Leon shot with my yep. minigun. Oh! Are you, are you spraying it or are you single no, shot? Just do a regular hit. I, I, okay. I don't know. I, I think I think the, the the spray attack has to work its way back into my good graces. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, but in order to do that, you have to use it. <laughs> can, I, can I quickly ask a question? Um, yes. How does a reaction work? Do I have to do that on my turn? Uh... I'm talking about my redistribution thing. What for you? Yeah, basically, it's like a bonus action for you. Got it. So yeah, you you can redistribute the damage. Yes, on your you can have it as as, as an action. Yes. So it's just because it says when you or an ally that you can see rolls damage for an attack. So yeah. How would I do that on my turn? Would I have to react to the previous person? Uh, the reaction, yeah. It, it, yeah. I guess it would react to the trigger, like yes. whenever they do the attack. Yes, but you can't see Alex at the moment from where you are and where he is. Got you it. Can see, Thank you. you can Sorry to interrupt. No, that's fine. Yeah, this is this is where you meta game it, and like Alex walks out into the road. It's like, can you see me now? Yes. <laughs> right. Well, that's why I stood next to Samuel. Okay. So. Also, Thank also, you. The sneak attack rested on the minigun. Uh, I shall say no <laughs> because I'm not a like a sneaky thief yet. <laughs> Make your shots. Okay. God. So looking at the dice, that's eight and a six. That's fourteen on the damage and twenty on the hit. Yes, on. and this is this guy, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So that guy, no damage on him. So a oh, good god, life. That is uh, yes. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely okay. Yeah, you kind of bring it. <laughs> Single shot kind of comes out. So. Sorry, <laughs> ballistic damage. Yeah, it, it impacts if you kind of knock back. Oh, There's actually a, a reasonable hole yeah. into his body armor. Yes, it might need some patching up and repair work if you're going to use that. Yeah. Right. So Holy bullet wounds, back man. Let me make them. Okay. And he kind of. Oh! <laughs> drops his gun. Ah, and he's kind of leaning back on the back. You can hear ah, from inside the van as well. Uh, but yeah, so he's kind of backing off to the van. Drops his gun yeah. on the floor. Totally shocked him. Um, and that's that's this yeah. guy here. Uh, yeah. Totally, utterly <laughs> shocked him. Right. Okay, well, you had the drop on them. Now we're into a normal yeah. round. Leon, this is working out for you. <laughs> Make us proudly on. I can't hear you. That's all right. Dead. That's all right. I wasn't saying anything <laughs> interesting anyway. Um, I'm going to peep over the top of the uh, the bridge. Um, yeah. I know that something has happened. I probably didn't see what Kruger just did. So I'm going to try and shoot this guy again. <laughs> you, you can see Kruger stood there with a the mini gun. Yeah. Ah! I, guess, I guess I heard it. Um, yeah, just cackling malevolently. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can actually roll a hit. That'd be nice. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, 25, that's a little better. Um, and I think that's a critical for me as well. So he takes that. Oh, okay. So he takes yeah. 9 plus 7, 16. He does. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> see the things you can achieve with a little motivation. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, basically. Bang. Lovely shot, just aim straight down, straight through the helmet. Yeah. Blood kind of <laughs> splurts over and kind of pops out as the crack in the helmet, and he just kind of goes down, absolutely dead. Well, you, you need... Does his brain matter spill out his um, helmet? Uh, no, because the bullet kind of oh. goes through backwards, bangs his head, blood kind of splurts out from where oh. it is, and he kind of just drops to the ground. Um, you hear a scream from inside, a male scream. Is it, ah! <laughs> Samuels, now stop the time. <laughs> um, okay. can, I sh can I shout at the same time to this other guy to drop his weapon? Oh. Is that a thing I can do or is that an action? Yeah, um, i tell you what, make, make an intimidation roll. Okay. You are very intimidating, I have to say. I'm quite intimidated. He rolled the 25. No, not very time. Just yeah. rolled a two this time, man. So, 
Yeah. I, feel yeah. Like yeah. I, I don't think he heard me over the gunfire. Yeah. Stop or I'll shoot again. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't quite yeah. have the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe brush up on Stop that. it now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like that thing where you're trying to intimidate someone and there's someone behind you being like, Yeah, he's very intimidating! <laughs> <laughs> I think Ange jinxed me, to it's be like, quite honest. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, Samuels, uh, he is actually going to shoot at this guy again. and Let's see if he has another good shot. Because I'm making this far too easy for you guys, obviously. <laughs> 12. Okay, he's... Well, um, Whoa! Yes. <laughs> Great, great damage, Rob. It was. Um, unfortunately, um, he, missed. he misses. He impacts into the side of the vehicle, uh, breaks through uh, the uh, the uh, the wing mirror on that side, and puts a nice <laughs> little dent. Beautiful shot. Does a bit of damage to the vehicle. Unusual. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Victoria, you've got this guy kind of on his knees. Yeah. What are you doing with him? Are you doing anything with him? Have we blown this guy's at this one? Is this one dead yet? Oh, sorry. No, this one's not dead. No, Samuel's missed. Is it a bit... Okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll shout this guy, you stay where you are, and then I'm going to make another shot at this guy. Go on, then. Make a shot. Pow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you shoot at him. Uh, just impacts into the armor, doesn't penetrate at all, uh, even with the armor piercing rounds. So, yeah, I shout to him, Get on the floor. So, he's like, Yeah, this guy's on the floor anyway. Okay, face down. I want no, I want him on the face. I want them head down on the uh, floor. Make, a, no, make another intimidation roll, please. Nine. Okay, he d drops down. Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Ah, uh, just work. Well, I'm an intimidate. I'm an intimidating, pleasy person. Yeah, with his one resistance. Yes. Yeah, right. I say eat. <laughs> I say eat dirt. You, oh, okay. you criminal no. type. Okay. Yeah, now I can see why he's no longer a police person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in his in his bright Vilnius security yeah. uniform yeah. and armor. Drop yes. the handbag, you ne'er do well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Uh, Sai. Oh. Yep. I reverse yeah. the car. I right. ran as best I can to try. I look in the mirror. I see this guy in the in the thing behind me. I wonder oh, what the oh, hell yeah. he's doing. Oh, um, yes. And I, and I just slam it into reverse and I try and run the guy over that's covering behind it to try and avoid gunfire. Can you make a vehicle's uh, land roll? Please? I can make a vehicle's land roll. 11. 11. <laughs> okay. <is> RA. <laughs> you you are struggling to get it actually moving because all the rear tires are blown yeah. out. It kind of jerks back a little bit. Um, you have to double of, D clutch thing yes. that thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you can't kind of get it working. It's like, <laughs> this is not working out as plan goes. Nice idea, but yes. Yes, so you don't quite break. get it into, the, into gear yeah. and reverse it correctly. So, yes, <laughs> maybe next time. Right. Um, are you jumping out, staying in there? Going to try again next round? Um, can, uh, have I got enough action left to just jump out and stick my sword into the neck of the guy that's sitting on the ground? Cause we're no, supposed... you've, got, you've, got enough, you've got enough action to jump out behind him. Uh, so you don't have enough action to jump out and uh, stick him as well. Um, 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 I will... Uh, realize the van the shot and I'll jump out behind them. Okay, right. That's fine. Yep, easy enough to jump out. Uh right. Uh Atlas. What are you doing? Everything seems um, to be going really well at the moment. Yeah. Really, oh, really? You, now, oh you've... now you've jinxed it. <laughs> Can you make now a you've perception jinxed. roll for me, Atlas? Yeah. Oh yeah. no, he said that with sarcasm, didn't you? What? I Eleven. Mean, Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. I mean, technically, it's your best roll so far. <laughs> that, is, that, 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 that is true. Yes. Okay. You know that's going to come back and bite you in the ass, Lloyd. That really is. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> yes. What were you? What are you intending on doing this round? What was your action going to be? I don't know. You tell me what you're about to tell me, and I'll let you know. No, no. <laughs> you, you, you go first. Just... <laughs> 
Okay, this is what I was going to do. Uh, yep. Atlas is going to stand here and look out to see what's happening. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You're not, not doing anything else, you're just waiting. <laughs> yeah. I am holding my action okay. to... <laughs> to what? <laughs> hack <laughs> mech, should I see <laughs> any? <laughs> to, to what, sorry? <laughs> to hack mech, should I see any? Okay, so if, if, if a mech turns up, you're going <laughs> to yeah. hack it. Yeah. 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 That's awfully really specific. That is that is specific. Yeah. That's fine. That works. Yeah, she is a hacker. Mechs are a thing in this world. That's fine. All right, Alex. Why did I roll this? <laughs> what? Uh, paranoia. What a wonderful thing. You didn't do anything. There's nothing there. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, everything's fine. On the rooftops. It's going really, really smoothly. Don't worry. Wait, Everyone's why is there okay. a green square yeah. somewhere here? Oh, that yeah, was from the drawing to... to the van. Yeah, and uh -huh. now we're about to enter the Assassin's yeah. Creed portion of the game. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe we will, Leon. Right, so, um, Alex, you've taken down one with your big, meaty minigun. What's what's the plan? You've got uh, um, this guy here, and you've got this guy here. So how uh, bad is this guy looking at the moment? Is he he's the one who's got a hole in him? He's, he's looking, looking great. He's looking great. <laughs> okay, he's got a I'm big target on his chest saying, yep. shoot me yeah. here. Yeah, he hasn't I, I, mean, I mean, it would be rude to, to you know, not oblige. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're like, well, you could have, like, you know, thrown your gun down at any moment. You Technically, you brought this upon yourself. Um... <laughs> Oh no, I probably killed like half a dozen times. Oh! Was that a one? No. No. Okay, you, you Just... fire and you, <laughs> you, you do a nice nice bit of damage to the uh, the, the stairwell here. Beautiful, <laughs> nice little hole in that, you know, piece of steel. Yes, you, you, you unfortunately miss. I killed the okay. walkway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. How am I going to get down now? This guy has has got a, a pistol out, uh, and he's uh, seeing the obvious target, the guy that's just shot him, and he's going to shoot at you. Uh, what have we got? Fourteen. Does that hit? You muted, Lloyd. You muted. Uh, no, it is too low. I have it issues. is too low. Okay, yes, he fires and um, misses. Um, he is also going to, once per day, he can take one additional action. So he is Ooh. boosting his action and he is going to take a second shot at you. Ha. Uh, 18. Uh, oh. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> No hits, does it? So right, I'll hold still for you the second time round, see if you hit better. <laughs> okay, and seven points of damage. Don't forget to knock off your damage resistance because it is yeah, ballistic so damage. Four points, which takes me down to twenty-three hit points. Oh, there no. you go. Okay, oh. so yes, his his <laughs> his second shot, um, kind of uh, yeah, it, it actually hits you. Uh, oh. Don't expect little court security guards like this to, to have the ability to be that fast in their shooting. So he's taken yeah. his second shot. Okay. Uh, this guy is shooting at Victoria. And that is a 22. I guess that hits. Oh. AC, Ange. Yeah. Under hit points. Yeah. Yeah, I was, wasn't looking for it at all. I said it three times. Um, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> 15. <laughs> okay, uh, does five points of damage. Uh, don't forget to knock off any damage resistance you've got, because again, it's ballistic damage. So if your character has armored vest on, I think it's BR2, so you'd only Victoria's take... Victoria's Secret. 
three points. Bulletproof well, underwear. Yes, I do have DR2, so I take two. I've got DR2, so I take that two down and then three open hit points. That, you take, yeah, no, ignore the two. You negate the right. two. You take three points of the hit points. That's what armor okay. does. Oh, I see. Game. Okay, yeah, done Gives that then. Protection. Awesome. So, yes. Right. Thank you. Okay. Um. This guy kind of looks out of Victoria. He hasn't seen a uh, sigh behind him. <laughs> and he's kind of going to get up and, yeah, he's going to try and make a run for it. Let's so roll an athletic. Can I do anything that use their reaction to try and stop him from doing that? Yeah, you, you do. But as you do that, he kind of... Um, kind of slips on his foot his back leg kind of knocks into your leg and he kind of realizes he's there and he kind of falls <laughs> flat on his face yes a nice natural one from him thank you very much <laughs> rn jesus um yes so he kind of goes down he now knows there's someone behind him he doesn't know what he knows is behind him but he knows there's something behind him right uh leon uh yeah so leon is gonna move a little bit down the bridge he's gonna poke poke over the top with the uh, assault rifle and take a shot at that guy see if we yep. can do some damage let's see a 17. Ooh. yes Doing rolls nine, in nine, points of damage. nine points of damage so knock off his <clears> three <throat> yep okay he's um He's, he's not gone down, but he is, he is... Yeah, you did penetrate his armor. Okay, uh, cool. And you can see he's now looking looking for a way out. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he takes a, a shot again and kind of looking around, where can I get out of here? Right. Um, Samuels. Okay, he is actually going to... Oh, he's going to move across to here to get a better position and a bit of extra cover. And he is going to make his third shot. Now, if his revolver's six. And he fires. Another awesome damage roll there. Oh, but, oh man. You've unfortunately. Got a case of lead poisoning. Yes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, the, the, the bullet uh, wildly goes over. A guard number one's head. Another miss from Samuels. Victoria! So, let's keep going. You saw this guy a few seconds ago try to, to get up and move. Um, but uh, he uh, uh, he kind of slipped. And this guy has just shot you and has his gun aimed at you. What are you going to do? Shoot him in the head. Surrender. Okay. Shoot him Jeez, in the head. You're, you're going to shoot him. Yes. Okay. Right in the head. Right in the head. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Which one are we Andrew, shooting? Uh, did you actually the, want the, to the shoot him in the head? Yeah. Uh, yes, you did. I want to shoot him in the head so his brains fall out the back of his helmet. Okay, well, you, you kind of, he's, Angie kind of, yeah, sorry, Vic kind of steps <laughs> out, <laughs> braces herself, fires the revolver, dead straight, temple straight through the uh, armor plating on the helmet, brain kind of, bullet comes out the other side, <laughs> and a little bit of brain matter kind of flicks out and, and decorates the, the street yeah. around it, and it kind of goes, just drops down and kind of blood starts pouring out of a, a very <laughs> nasty head wound. God. Then I turn around and look at the other guy and go, do you want this as well? Oh, well, he, he can't it. see that, his that friend. Give so... him a choice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes. Do you want this as well? No. Well, tough. He, he well, goes end of my go down. Zone. Yes, he goes down, dead, uh, deceased, uh, no more. Right. Do the little... Killing dance now. You can see Leon, uh, just as, as, as uh, his, his go. You can see one, two, three, four. You can see that guy kind of comes out there. You can also see. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where are we? 
Ooh. I'm getting good at this roll 20 lark. Uh, and he is actually underneath the bridge. He's under you. Oh, okay. He's not on top of the bridge. He's under the bridge. Okay. Yep. So, uh, Sai, your turn. I um, pull out one of my katanas, flip it round a couple of times in my head, and just stab the guy that's trying to escape in the in the back of the neck. Oh, this guy. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. Ahead, Nick. You've got advantage on this attack. Atlas is stood over there with origami, kind of. <laughs> it's a butterfly. Ooh, is it a sneak sorry. attack on account of do I get any of that? No, you just get an advantage. Sneak attack is only for the scoundrel class. Uh, seventy. Oh, uh, no nah, rubbish. Roll, 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 no, you rolled advantage. Roll again. Yeah, you got advantage. Yeah, so roll again, but you'll get the damage if you succeed. You'll get the damage roll that you rolled there. Hmm. Oh. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, so you kind of flash your sword down uh, onto the. Uh, but it kind of just knocks and kinks off the helmet to try and get his neck, and you catch one of the armor plates, and it doesn't actually penetrate. And rolls tonight. Yes, <laughs> some, some of you had good rolls, but it's a roll twenty curse. Yeah. It's a roll twenty curse. Amazing or it's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> Alice, you can see. Um, actually, everyone you can see is down. What are you doing? Muted. Here it oh, is screeching about you. There you go. Yay! So uh, I'm now making origami. Oh, oh I'm joking. Um, it has to be unicorns. It's always unicorns. It is always unicorns, yes. Okay. So seeing that these guys have got it covered so far, I am going to return to a said van. Okay. My van. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to check on the head and I'm going to then, uh, not like officially, just look at it, make sure it's still there. Okay. Can you make a you perception know, roll, like please? Rolex. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the karma theory. Okay, thank you. <laughs> For my action, I am going to go on my computers and see whether I can uplink with the van on the road which i okay. doubt i will be able to but i will attempt it anyway uh not without a direct connection though you need to be okay. actually get, get an access port in the van if it's computerized which i'm sure it is we need okay. to the van we've got them all down yeah would you want to do that instead would yeah it? do that instead Went towards I've the van. You've done this. Don't panic. No, but... I've already had my action. No, but in retrospect, you'd have known that you needed. Yes. You'd have known you, you, you needed could, to you direct. Could have done yeah. yeah, let's be. Let's yeah. be fine. Yeah. Fine. Wait, this bloody van. I moved <laughs> to here, and then I was like, "Huh, I'm gonna go and hack this shit." Okay. What yeah. What do you want to do with the van? You're gonna gain control of it. <gasps> make, make a hacking run. Yeah. Okay. And also, I'm more interested in their guts. Stop it broadcasting <laughs> GPS or whatever it is, these things, because it's probably tracked. It, right? wait, wait, I've done a comms blackout, so... Okay. Yeah. That well, is that, but that only affects like 30 feet, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but it'd be centred around this area. Okay. Uh, she would have got it onto the guys. 21! Yeah. She hacked 21! 21. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You, you get easily into this. this yeah, this the security is it's pretty crap yeah. on this. Straight in. Uh, you've got access to the uh, computer controls. Uh, system is saying uh, reverse and forward motion is going to be extremely difficult due to damage to the rear wheels. Um, Can confirm. Uh, just flicking through, uh, there's four, tech, uh, four security guards assigned to this van, and they were transporting two technicians to a district, uh, district four. Uh, Vilnius uh, security, uh, sorry, uh, factory, um, to um, do a reboot of the system. So, can I figure out whether the data is 
in said van or whether it ran off of those two technicians? Uh, there's no actual data on there. There's also uh, listed on there a uh, priority for them to get going because there is a fire at the storage facility next door to the factory. What factory? That this van was heading to. Oh, get get you. Uh, I don't okay. know what to do. <laughs> there we go. That's yeah. your action. No, that's my action. That is your action to do all of that. Right. <laughs> Go on, mini gun man. What are you going to do? All right. I'm going to start moving after the scientist. Okay. You're, you're leaving. You're, 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 you're ignoring this guy. But, well, I was going to finish it. Get close to the scientist and then finish him off. Right, okay. Right, yep. Um, just so I don't have to run twice as far just to catch up with them next yep. round. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, go on then, make your attack roll. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Ah. Uh, this okay. System, everything was minimal. Shot kind of fires and it kind of goes into uh, into the van. Um, yeah. Atlas, as you're sat there, there's a, suddenly a big sound behind your, your, your head. And you Fuck see this sake. huge bullet kind of comes through the back of the van, straight Fuck out sake. through the front windscreen, shattering the windscreen. And yeah, you kind of. Uh, can you actually make a mind saving throw? A little Ooh. bit, we came out. Oh, just a. Yeah. <laughs> we? Oof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you wish. <laughs> I think, I think from, from behind, you'll just hear Kruger just be like, heads! <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, uh, a little bit. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Underwear change, maybe. Mm. Yes. As, yeah. So, that okay. changes colour here. Um, actually, um, Victoria, can you also make a mind saving throw as well? Actually, no, sorry. Can you make a, a <laughs> reflex saving throw, please? Oh, no. Put this is where you shoot her. It's going to yeah. break up. It's going to break Samuel's van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. Fix. It sure Fix. is going to yeah. break Samuel. She's a, she's a badass bitch today. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> duck as the bullet kind of goes. Past you. I, I'm Matrix moving right now. Yeah, I'm like that. Sorry, well, you're, uh, you're not getting that bullet near me, you uh, uh, cocksuckers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Saw so that bullet. coming before it left the gun. In his own time is his own business. Bullet <laughs> kind of goes straight past your head and straight into Samuel's bright yellow van. It's almost <laughs> magnetic. You, you just, just, just hear from Samuel's. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's, only, it's only it's only one hole amongst many. I mean, it, it's a good thing I didn't roll a one. <laughs> yes, that exactly. just blown up the van. Just kind of adds adds a little bit of of extra. Yeah, yeah. Add, 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 yeah, a bit of character. Here. Yeah, a bit of character yeah. to it. Yes, but yes, yes. The only one that was really affected by it was um was Atlas. Kind of just went. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, not good. Okay, yeah, Pee Wee Pee Wee Atlas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. So, uh, guard number three yeah. hasn't had a go, has he? Okay, I mean, you can you see... can skip a ten. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> you can see he turns his gun towards one of the technicians, and he shoots at this guy. Oh, bollocks! Eight points of damage. He has eight hit points. Okay. Uh, they have no armor. And this guy goes down. And his his mate next to him under the bridge is going, ah! and he kind of. <laughs> what happens when you're kind of away? Running over there. Um, so, yes. He's just turned and shot his own scientist. Beautiful <gasps> shot. Killed him straight dead. Okay. They've got the codes. Yeah. Leon, can you make a mind saving throw, Leon, please? Oh, now's the time. Now's the time. Oh, no. What's next? 
I cannot. Be like some kind of impressionistic, cubistic. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, 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 no. So far, it's all robotic stuff. That's what image, I know. All about image, artificial intelligence. Image two kind of flashes before your eyes. You want to stick up image two for our new people to actually see. Again, um, you're just gonna. I can't do that. King no, Koi, no, no, no. yeah. 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 see. Yeah. So yes, hi, I Leon says. Well, yes. So yes, uh, you kind of get that. Just image, just kind of again whizzes past uh your your into your mind as such yeah and you know just kind of you, you shake it off uh, a matter of a second you know uh but uh, any action it is a disadvantage this turn okay um in that case i will try and shoot this guy with disadvantage go for it i want to try and hit this guy the one that before he kills the other scientist if i can yep um oh. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Let's see what happens. I have missed. <laughs> okay, yes. <clears throat> um, oh, rules tonight. Yes. Well, it's with a disadvantage. I mean, I, I don't oh, know what the other one was. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it's just a case of that that that, that image just kind of yeah. freaks ah, you out why totally. Why stream yeah. froze? Shot you totally down. Has the stream mm. froze? Yeah, just like yeah. To a refresh. Hmm. Yeah, the backgrounds are still moving. Interesting. Technical yeah. difficulties. Technical difficulties. Yeah, difficulties. Press that button. Yeah. Yeah. Can that? maybe take a break? Let's take a, uh, Let's take a break. Take a break. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We're back. We're, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. back. We're back. We're back. Okay. Let's, Let's take a break anyway. I yeah, I think a break anyway. We take a break. Yeah. Take a break. Welcome in, readers. Thank you very much. Oh, now it. In that case, carry on. <laughs> they came a few minutes ago. It was yeah, a few minutes Elvin. ago. Guys, uh, all right, okay. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you had a good stream over there, Elvin. Um, thank you very much, Elvin Carey, for bringing your people over. We are just going to jump into a quick break. We've been going for a couple of hours, and uh, we'll be back in um, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Hey, hey, hey! Wait. Hello. Hey. We're back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to this madness, this shootout, <laughs> this street battle. We're it went out. so well. It did, didn't it? We rolled, we rolled expertly. It was almost like roll twenty hates us. Yeah, there's some good rolls. Some of you are getting good rolls. Some of you aren't. <laughs> mm, it's My the way. My rolls great. I'm it. just glad. I'm just glad that Atlas has got the, the highest perception score ever and she's seeing and noticing everything amongst the origami she's making. <laughs> so yeah. the paper the band just filled my, up. My perception. <laughs> I would love it if the, the, head, the head she's so worried about is, and like disappeared at some point at the very start of the encounter and all the checks are that she's never noticed. Yes. <laughs> it's just a pile of origami in the middle of the van. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking I haven't spent enough time sharpening my, sh my swords. Like, no. you know. Yeah. What? I know. It's a, good way, it's a good way to release some stress. Yeah. All right. Are we ready then? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and we shall begin once again. Okay. So, uh, one technician's been shot by his own uh, person. Yeah. Atlas. Just little, 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 little. Oblivious. Little toilet accident just in the front of the van. But, you know, sort of down. Uh, I okay. believe it's. Is it, whose go is it now? Is it Leon's? Yes, it must uh, be Leon's. Leon's just sh shot and missed. Shot. That's right, he has. So it's Samuel's. Okay. <laughs> he goes into a rage. Uh, he's getting he's into his his van. Oh, no. And he is moving said van. Um, and he is kind of... Um, wow. Blah, blah, blah. He's killed us all. <laughs> he's killed you all. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Hang on. No, he's not there. He's went for some sushi. <laughs> How bad there we go. How many did he roll in his drive check? Yes, he's, he's basically getting the van over to there, uh, ready for that quick getaway, uh, and also making an attempt to stop this technician, but his drive skill roll was not great. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'm sure he's not putting himself out of uh, Kruger's line of fire. Um, poss possibly, yes. <laughs> possibly, I, possibly. I, what I would yes. love is if I ran over to the scientist now. 
the guy tried to shoot us. He missed him and just shot that again. That would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, know, you, you know you said it. Roll 20 is going to deliver. You know yeah. it. Please, please. Yes. I mean, it would, it would make up for all of its terrible RNG so far. <laughs> yes. Okay, right. Uh, Victoria. It's, it's, it's you, young lady. What's the plan? Plan? Did I see? <laughs> oh, I um, like his optimism. <laughs> from where I was here, did I see this guy shoot the guy that ran out of the van? No. Well, that's a bit pantsing, isn't it? Because, you know, there's a, a van between you and him. And <laughs> you don't know, for all you know, it could have been uh, Alex that's, uh, that shot him. <laughs> So with my other hand, this guy here, that's here. Yep. He's still alive, yeah? Oh, he's still alive, yes. Um, sai has got the sword just as swung down and it, it kind of bounced off his uh, his helmet. He kind of missed the, the soft, squidgy spots. Uh, and this guy is, is kind of a bit freaked out now. So I want to run forward to him. Cause, well, yep. I'm going to sort of step forward to him. Yep. With my other hand that hasn't got the revolver, I'm going to get my shift knife and try and slash his throat. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't make it any more embarrassing than it already is. Yeah, go for it. Let's, 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 let's <laughs> hope for that perfect... Put on a good show of fate will smile upon okay. you. Go on then. Please Give succeed. Him. <laughs> 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 Advantage? Damage is six. Goes through his thing yeah. and. Your yeah, ballistic armor has no value here. A ballistic armor has no value here. Okay, yes, you, um, you, uh, you, 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 you shiv. You don't get his throat. You kind of get him in the shoulder. Uh, you know. Collarbone, sort of area, yeah. you know, straight that up, hurts. you stab him in, and yes, it, it, it does hurt. He kind of, ah, you hear, but he's, he's not <laughs> dead, but he's, uh, yes, it's okay. like a Vulcan nerve pinch, but <laughs> yes. with a knife. I could have probably shot him, but I was a bit angry, so I just wanted to stab him in the neck with my knife. <laughs> yes, he kind of, now, he really, he think he now realizes that he, he may be gonna die yeah. here, so yeah, okay, yep. I can also he see better be making peace with his god. Well, he's going to do something, <laughs> that's a certain. Sai! I, I just look at Sai and go, do it. <laughs> For sure, this time. Uh, I'm very frustrated um, and almost in the same type speed that the, the blade swings off, it dings against the side of the van. I reposition my hand um, and, I, and I come just at the side and I swipe down into him, realising exactly where I missed and went wrong and not going to make the same mistake again. Do you, do you know what we need to do, guys? What we need to do is we need to get something where channel points can be used to buy a reroll. Can I um, <laughs> make it happen? Definitely. Can I um, roll the advantage? Well. Yes, you can. For the GM as well as the player. Right, so I'm, check I'm checking advantage here when I yes. roll, not a sneak attack. But I've given him a blood mark to hit. 22. <laughs> Ooh. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. Uh, that does <laughs> indeed. Indeed, it does it. Uh, beautiful. He had 11 hit points left. Yeah. You kind of take the blade and kind of straight down, nape of the neck, straight through, ah, out the other side, impact into the concrete of the uh, of the road, the asphalt of the road, and blood kind of... And he kind of just jerks and jerks as you kind of stick stick him through. Yeah, totally. I'm, uh, and, I'm, I'm quick, and I'm quick with the blade, so I, I just kick him... Uh, get the blade back and I back up and I, uh, against the van and begin to shimmy along uh, to to see what's happening where the gunfire is and I kind of peek yep. around. I just keep cover, but I just you know kind of my back flat against it and I walk along and just kind of look around to see what's going on behind the van. Yeah, you you can see this guy has uh, got a gun uh, and he is it's pointed at the guy that so the technician that seems to have gone down. All right, I so, take note of that yes. and I. Um, yes. um, yes. Have I got enough movement to climb up on top of the van? Uh, go on, I'll let you make an athletics roll for it. Nope. Don't fall and slip and fall in your sword, though, please. Oh, I don't, don't roll a one. <laughs> Twelve. Yes, you managed to, to climb onto the top of 
uh, the van. So yes, we'll we'll have you as on on the van. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Victoria, you kind of did actually move <coughs> there, didn't you? Yeah. You, you can see um kind of blood kind of seeping onto your shoes. By the way. Right, Atlas. Yeah, you've just kind of had a little bit of a minor toilet accident, mm. but you know you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna know because no, yeah. no one's gonna know. It's, it's minor. Yeah. Apart from the so, security cameras. Just... Okay. <laughs> so as I get out the van, nobody yep. sees me yeeting something in the distance, which is my underwear. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, stand here. See this guy's still alive, and I'm gonna shoot this guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Payback. Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for anyone in the audience like, watching this. They say payback. They would see this like neon pink, like something fly across the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's um, a bomb. I'm, 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 I'm just concerned that the, the payback thing means she's just about to shoot Alex in the back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's, there's a bomb that came out of the hostel and you know, gets underwear on his head yeah. and looks, oh, thank you, God, thank you. Yeah, oh, 23. Come and, out. A, and a 20, and that 20. And that 20. There you go. There wow. you go. Take that. <laughs> okay, Take that, so you fiend. 18 uh, minus 3 is 15. Okay, yeah, beautiful. You kind of, how, do you want to, how do you want to kill him? How, how, how is your, your payback going to be? Because you, you're a beautiful shot, you know. How are you going to take him out? I'm going to shoot him in the dick. <laughs> After throwing his soiled underwear in his face. Nice. Oh, Blinds him. Oh, Blinds man. him and then shoots him in the in the genitals. What a terrible way to go. <laughs> okay, yes. So basically, uh, yes. Of weed. <laughs> uh, a beautiful groinal shot, you know, kind of goes straight through the, the arm. And... Uh, <laughs> just drops to the ground. <laughs> Beautiful, you know, one shot. Yeah, you're, you're a killer. You're a killer. Yes. And then I'm gonna shout, "Stop the fucking technician!" <laughs> can't stop beautiful. Oh, yeah. beautiful, 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 beautiful. I like it. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, Alex, this is working out quite nicely. It's 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 your go. You, you can see the technician running. What are you intending <laughs> on doing? <laughs> okay. Alex. Um, oh, what's happening? Thinky, 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 thinky. Okay. I'm, I was going to run after him. I don't yep. know if I could, like, rush him with, like, with the last 10 feet, but what I might do, if I can't, instead of what I might just do is try and intimidate him. Yeah, make, make an intimidation roll. Just dropping to the floor and stopping, because, like, yeah, we, we're not trying to kill them, unlike everyone else that they apparently worked with. Yep. Oh, where's my character sheet gone? Oh, there it is. I mean, we're not trying to kill them until they're given us the codes, and then we have to kill everyone. That's... I mean, as far as I'm aware, we're not killing them, but that might change at a later date. <clears throat> oh, would that be uh, intimidation? You don't want anyone to uh, know that you've got the coat. Is this a standard roll for intimidation? Uh, just we don't get any bonus points for killing everyone else. No, no, no. Just a standard intimidation <laughs> oh, okay. roll. Oh, that's not bad, though. That's... Ah, def decent. Yeah. Okay, he kind of just drops. Huh, please, please, don't don't kill me. Uh, do whatever you want. Uh, don't, 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 don't kill me. Yeah, he kind of drops to his knees. Don't, don't kill me. Do you know how to get hold of a bushwhacker thingy? <laughs> he kind of looks. He said, he said anything. <laughs> hey, I've got quite an imagination. No. I, I, I know sense. <laughs> I know sense repairs. Uh, bush. I have no idea. What, don't, don't kill. I've, I've, got a, I've got a wife. I've got kids. Please. Please, I'm in the final six months of my contract. Don't, I was due to don't retire. Kill me. Uh, don't kill me. I'm <laughs> two days away from retirement. <laughs> this is, this is, yeah, this would be like just Kruger, like just like Karen. They're like, oh, I'm two days away from retirement. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, what, what, what can I do? I, uh... If you would, uh, John, do I have anything I can use to tie him up? Probably, yes, you'll have something. Yeah. 
Maybe like a cable tie or something. I've got like, some underwear from there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They, yeah. they got picked Sorry, up um, by. Um, yeah. Yeah, I prefer my uh, my restraint to not smell of fear. <laughs> so if you if it's a scientist, if you could do this with your hands. Um, okay. Yeah, he does it. Remain calm. Um, keep all limb all your limbs and extremities will stay with you, provided you do not struggle or try to get away. Thank you're you. Not, you're not gonna kill me. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no. <laughs> so... <laughs> right. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> Atlas and Leon, can you two make perception rolls, please? Right. Why is it gonna be me? <laughs> yes. Wait, no. <laughs> that's it. Yes, yeah. that's 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 yeah. a that, that's your good 20. roll. Yeah, I love it. Atlas is like you see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yeah. Um, both Atlas and, and Leon, you're kind of just surveying the situation. You can see that uh, uh, Kruger has uh, tackled um, the scientist and has, has got him um, sorted out. You can see size just round by the car, and Victoria's. Just kind of just trying to step out and get away from her shoes getting covered in blood. Um, you do see a figure up here. In the brooding. Oh, no. It's, uh, you can see just, it, just it make Batman? out a, a face. Is it Batman? Batman. <laughs> uh, no, it's, 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 it's not Batman. But I am going to reveal an image for you. Uh, but when I find what the link in hell I've done with it, whereabouts is this thing be. on the map? Where, that up where the green square is. Where the green square is. Could you reveal um, it for Sai as well, please? No, show chat. I I will do. Uh, I thank you. Do. Well, I'm just going to show it to everyone. Okay. Because, you know, I'm sure you yeah. guys will. Um, we'll not uh, meta we'll again. Die. Yeah, you're not going to meta again. Professionals. <laughs> <laughs> You're professionals, are you? Right. Okay. Yeah. Can't you tell it. by the last two hours? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, have... on the professional stakes, I don't consider myself on the same level as everyone else. Um, I like to run a tight ship. It's just the ship is somewhat uh, chaotic in nature. Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely chaotic. Okay, so you see... Uh, uh, this he face... likes to run a tight ship. The rest of us are just not on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little, like, life rafts trying to like scrounge things out of the ocean. He's got Christ. delusions of grandeur. I you think. see, you see that? Do you see that, guys? No. Nope. Yes. Yep. Sneaky oh. person. Oh. But oh, uh, cool. cowl, a uh, hooded cow, and this person is watching you, um, and she has definitely kind of seen you guys. And um, yes, now Victoria, now you, uh, you you get pointed out to her. You can see. It. Can you guys make or make a streetwise roll, please? Uh, Victoria, oh, yeah, you yeah. have advantage on this. Streetwise. Oh, oh. Plus zero. This is going to end well. Fifteen. Oh, Ooh, it's <laughs> Got twenty. It's the Candy Skull Gang. Yeah. No, you haven't got good rolls, have you? Mm. I did. One crit. There are some good rolls I in mean, there. Yeah. Depend, wow. The difficulty of the check. <laughs> well, okay. Um, Victoria, yes. Uh, Leon, strangely, it must be must be something to do with the fact that uh, uh, you guys have been uh, hanging out. Yeah. Okay, you uh, do recognise this face. Um, scarily enough, uh, and it's not a face you really want to to recognise. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, you you are. Um, it is. Let me just get it. Santa Muerte, a um, Mexican American. Uh, she works for one of the Mexican gangs as an enforcer and an assassin. Um, oh, no. <laughs> she is someone way, 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 way out of your league. Uh, someone you definitely don't want to f around with. Um, 
But yes. And you can see she's stood there. She seems to notice you guys uh, just kind of all kind of looking up in the moment there of silence. And uh, there's a puff of smoke. And <laughs> when it clears, she's kind of gone. Yes, and you Batman. can just see. She yes. is Batman. She's worse. <sighs> She is uh, bad news. Any of guys... Pretty theatrical, those Mexican I, gangs. I, 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 yeah. Any of you guys speak Spanish I, as languages? Uh, uh, no. Uh, hold on. Uh, I don't think so. No, Mandarin, Russian, and Japanese. Uh, where are the languages written down again? Uh, uh, by the, um, under the guns. Proficiencies and languages beneath your yeah, weapons. To the right of your persuasion and rolls, yeah. sleight of hand, and all that. Oh, uh, uh, why not? I speak Spanish because it says you choose. Speak? It says oh. choose two, please, and I haven't chosen anything, <laughs> so I'm choosing Spanish. That's my last <laughs> one. Yeah, I, <laughs> again. Yeah. I, can, I can speak the other. Euro Apparently, I can speak all the other major European languages, and just not that one. Spanish. <laughs> Adam is um, uh, the uh, Mexican goddess of death. Um, holy death, I think, is how it translates into English. Um, yeah. But yes, uh, 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 a face of, of <laughs> a face of yes, uh, a word of That's a death mask, isn't it? Te terror and uh, yes, <laughs> and as I said, those Vic and uh, uh, Leon. Yeah, um, she is. Yeah, she works for the El Librabus, um gang, Mexican gang. And she is has a reputation of being a cold, calculated, efficient, and very, very professional killer. And uh, yeah, she uh, doesn't. Uh, yeah, she's good. Yeah. You don't want to fuck around with her. Well, she's gone. Well, so we need to go but quick. She's kind of gone. Okay, so you got the you got the technician, Alex. Yes, I'm gonna haul him into the van. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if we are still on turn time or whatever. But yes, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you kind of haul him into the van. Um, are you all departing in the van and getting out of there, or are you doing anything um, else before you go? What I'm going to do, I, I, I think, is Leon, Leon comes down off this bridge, uh, and nobody's. if nobody else has done it, I want to grab that body of that scientist. Yeah. Yep. Um, just in case he's. Well, we, I'm assuming we haven't got time to search him now, so I'm going to. We want to search his body or whatever, okay. just in case. So yeah. you're going to throw him in the back of the van, into the back of yeah. the Samuel's van. It's becoming okay. a bit of a, a hearse, yes. isn't it, this thing? Basically, and we blow, yes. Have we got anything to blow the van up with? Uh, I don't know. Have you got anything to blow the van up with? Just looking. No. Anyone got any grenades or anything? Can I can I uh, go over um, to the sushi bar and uh, with my mask on, and can I demand the tape? Of the recording? Yeah. <laughs> make, make, make an intimidation roll. Um, Atlas... Uh, hey. you're, pretty, you're pretty certain you, you might be able to rig the power supply in the van to overload. <gasps> Basically, they Dude, use like, 17 for battery cells. Okay, you kind of just goes, hand comes above to uh, like a, a CD deck, <laughs> kind of pulls out this, this disc, this laser disc type thing, kind of hands it to you. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I take Sh shaking, it. Shaking, shaking uh, his hand. Asking ask for some sushi before you leave. And the hand kind of just <laughs> goes go. behind the counter. And he's not moved. I <laughs> see nothing. <laughs> Just you remember that. I'm over here. I, I, I turn around. Okay. Then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Question. Um, yes. Me as it's the future and stuff, and like nowadays Tesla and all that. Yes. Can this be a self-driving car? Uh, not yes, anymore. But <laughs> the rear tires have all been blown out by the stinger trap. Yeah. Can you all, so, guys, all make perception rolls, please? Oh, Again. Jesus. <laughs> Twenty-three. Slimy. I was distracted okay. by the noodles, the sushi. Sorry, <laughs> the sushi, the fish, right. and the rice, and Vic, the crackers. Twenty-three. You can hear in the distance a police sirens. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I go into well. police. I go into police mode now, and I go right. We've got these two. We need to go. Um, you take the van. Yeah, synthetics and biologicals. Let's get in. Atlas, I'll come um, with you. Atlas, Atlas, can you rig this van quickly to blow? We need the evidence gone. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna totally do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this gonna be a 
rig it to blow like you wipe the cameras at the last warehouse you're at. Or is Shush it about be... that. You just can't, like, stop bringing up the little tiny details. <laughs> tiny details. Just stop giving him ideas after the mission. <laughs> right, can you make, uh, I'll let you choose either a mechanics or a hacking roll. Wait, let me know if it works better. Uh, they better be yeah, hacking, otherwise thinking... you know the team's in trouble. <laughs> right. Uh, quick, I can hear the police. Okay, alright, alright, no alright, alright. Wait a minute, you're going to go into police mode and run away from the police? I'm an ex-policeman. Alright, so we're going to ex-policeman mode. So I am going to do, do the do, and I am going to, uh, as I quickly do that, and it's on a timer, run to my van, and I'm going to straight away kind of start driving off in my van. Uh, hello, I'm supposed to be coming with you. Right. Don't leave me behind. Uh, yeah. Are you all going right. this way? <laughs> <laughs> no, opposite way. Okay, you're going the opposite way. Okay. I'd so, have to do a whole reverse if I went that way and go past it. So. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, are you okay. waiting to take anybody with you, or are you just leaving us no, all behind? I just said oh. I looked out the window and called. Okay, all right. <laughs> Did the van blow off? Not for you, but... She didn't okay. say she was waiting, she just called. <laughs> Ty. Ty, who are you going with? <clears throat> he, he's he's going to have to get in the van with uh, Samuels into the yellow van. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, uh, so okay. <laughs> okay. As as you both drive away in opposite directions, vowing to meet up a, a block away, so you can sort out the situation, you yeah. hear a <laughs> almighty explosion, um, and then you hear also <laughs> after the explosion, sounds like there was some guns or ammunition that was probably in the truck that went off as well, and then finally. And you just no. see she's looking out, <laughs> a plume of smoke just going over this area. You hear shattering glass uh, from the oh, nearby no. area as you kind of drive off. Mezushima! <laughs> <laughs> as you're driving away, just hear Mezushima! And you kind of um, fade away from the area, and you guys uh, meet up um, about 10 minutes later. Um, so that's definitely low profile there, guys. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of um, meet up around the corner. Just as you've pulled the cars up together, you've got the, the, the technician in there. What are you doing? All right, well, we need to interrogate him about the code. Okay. I'm going um... into the back of my van and putting clean underwear on. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Vic, you see her climb into the back and root through some, some clothes and <laughs> put some underwear on. So she wasn't wearing un underwear? Oh, well, it, yeah. it's it's 2185. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah, maybe she gets her thrills out going commando on, on little missions and then has yeah, to change off. like some air conditioning. Who knows? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Holographic underwear, surely. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, should we all, all gather in Jill's van right. so we can interrogate this guy together? Yes. You know, as okay. a team. Get the team together. Yeah. You're you're in a dark alley yeah. about three as blocks like, away. He pulls himself together. <laughs> yes. Can you, uh, can you make? Uh, I mean, what are you, how, how are you going to? You going to intimidate him? Oh, oh, can I yeah, tap can... into his Neuralink? If you want to waste an exploit, yes, and, and do, do what? Have you got an exploit that can tap into his Neuralink? You could All just right. ask him first, before you waste <laughs> a roll. Ask him just... then. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, you're going to use... If it's worth using an exploit to do that. You've used two exploits to, 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 to today in, in total. You know, one tonight and one in the previous session. You haven't any okay, yet. speak to the alive one, and then if he doesn't give up the code okay. that the other one has, I'll tap into the right. dead. Okay. Okay, one of you make an intimidation roll, please. You will roll with advantage because you're being yes. helped. Well, I've got no yeah. ticks on him intimidation, so I've I hope somebody else five. has. Right. Go on, my then. intimidation is minus one. one. Yeah, I'll I'll get the plus five, I would yeah. like to keep roughing up the guy. Yes, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whoever's going to roll, choose one of you to roll it. and uh, as uh, Sai, then, if he's got plus five on it. You have I've got plus five as well. We've all got plus five. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, <laughs> 23. Yeah, got it. 23. With advantage. Beautiful, yes. Uh, he kind of spills his guts. Yeah, here's the, here's the access codes that gets 
that's the access codes for uh, uh, the factory we were going to. Uh, it's uh, uh, Laboratory 22. It's next door to the main factory, which is currently on fire at the moment. So it's been evacuated. Shit's, shit's happened. And yeah, th there you go. That's that's the, but, but, but it's no good to you because that, that code changes. Uh, it's 6 a.m. It's about mm, about three by the time you've uh, waited mm. now. So it's well, 3 a.m. Well, I think we need to get him to where he's going as fast <laughs> as possible. <laughs> well, we were told that we had to get him before 6 a.m. Now we know why. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to drop him off before then. Otherwise, the whole mission is yeah. done. Well, we get the codes to the people that wanted them. We've got the codes. That's all they wanted. Okay. It's up to point, them what they do. At that yeah, point... To get them to them before six, otherwise it's a pointless thing. The at that useless. point... Uh, Vic, your internal comms go. Strange that whoever's calling you is calling you this time. And you hear mm. Rika Montoya's voice. Ah, senorita. I see you have been successful. I we hope you codes. are 404, dear... The poor, unfortunate uh, technicians and security guards. 404 is slang for killing, by the way. Mm. And you've got them still alive there, by the way. Yeah. So, you have the codes. I expect you want your payments now, yes? You want the codes? Yeah, you're going to have to transfer, I guess. <sighs> ah, there's just a small, little, little... Incipiency, <laughs> teeny weeny little issue. Yeah, uh, you have the codes. They're only good till six a.m. By the time you got those codes to me, they'd probably be useless to me. So I'm gonna need you to go to the laboratory, and there is a fire in the production facility next door. It's amazing how these things just happen. And if you want paying, you're going to have to use that access code, get into the laboratory, and download the data core for me. Sounds That's... like we're going to need a raise. <laughs> you're going to have to pay us more. The deal was that money for the codes. You want this is a new job. Double it. We'll get the codes. We'll get you the data. Double it. The deal was we get the codes. We have the codes. That's the deal. You're now asking us for another job. Of course, I'll double it just for you. You, you came up with that figure so very, very quickly. <laughs> I like the sharpness, Senorita. You are a magnificent woman. I like <gasps> it. I like it. 200,000 Wonglongs. You get the yeah. data call. You have of course you will. until 6 a.m. before that. Call. I'm, I'm going to do you a favor. Because, Senorita, I like you. I like you a lot. You and I, we are going to, we're going to get together and we're going to make some sweet music together. Just oh, you, me and, yeah, maybe anyone else who wants to join us. I, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with things. But senorita, I am going to do you a favor. I have managed to acquire some plans that you may need to get the data call. Don't ask me where I got these plans from. It Just send them over matter. now. He sends over a file to you. Senorita, it is 3 a.m. You have yes. three hours. Okay, and I'll just rip off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got the sicky. He didn't hear any of that. That's all between, you know. Kind of everyone's kind of looking at you, Vic, and the security guards yeah, kind of going on? technicians looking at you as well. Oh, no. uh, yeah, right, we look... need to go. We need to go now. We're going to where he's going to put those codes in for us, and we're going to download the data core thingy. What words he said? Oh, okay. Uh... So, if you want to see your retirement, I would suggest you cooperate. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, get a grip. Let's get going. Uh, I, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> you can see that I said the file came over to you. Um, I am going to put up some plans for you. 
And I'm going to move you onto the page so you can see the plan. Oh my lordy lordy. It's amazing how such awesome plans he got access to them. Right, so you guys all see these plans. You kind of download it onto uh, uh, Atlas's uh, uh, computer system so you can bring it all up yeah. and look at it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Looks an interesting place. Looks like that's construction blueprints. Um, highlighting yeah. certain areas. Doesn't show you anything about what's in the areas, but yeah. Um, what? Right. Plan. Technician guy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, he's, he's kind of bound in, in Samuel's van. Okay. At with, with Atlas. Hello. Get the dead guy's clothes on. Why? Because the job is. I'm now wearing his clothes and I'll put them on. <laughs> those two, those two <clears throat> technicians were supposed to go into that building and sort those codes out. Okay. So we've killed one technician. We have one technician here. You know how to get this like stuff. This guy. I look nothing like this guy. Okay. They're not going to know what they look like. They're just look, they're expecting two technicians. So what? two of you go in. Is she going to even fit his clothes? It doesn't matter because she just kind of smiles, already, probably, yeah. and she's already she's already in the <clears> technician's <throat> outfit, and yet it's still there on the dead body. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. There's, 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 there's kind of, I, I guess, there's almost like a, a sarcastic sort of smile there. It's, I'm fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something on those lines. I, I don't know. I, you know, maybe, maybe. Slash nervous because you know you're Nine about to points. do this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You have the plans. Right. We get there, and you walk in as calm as cucumber. Cool as cucumber. <laughs> and... <laughs> and you act like this is the job you were sent to do. And you just go in, and you do the code, and then you download the data, and you walk out. Nothing's going to go wrong, but you're going to have to go in alone. With this technician, I mean, who could probably like punch me. Yeah. yeah. Technician. I need to blackmail him somehow because he could leave me, knock me out, and just. I just take go into his. I go into his pocket, pull out his wallet, and go. This is where him and his families live. I don't need to blackmail him. You did did pull up some 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 ID and some yeah. codes for him, so you've access yeah. codes for the place. Yeah. So I think Atlas can find out where he lives. Just probably quite easily. I just look at the technician and go, "You're not going to, you're not going to not do this job with us, are you?" Uh, let me go. Uh, do whatever you want. I have no loyalty to uh, that company. It's just a job. It's just a job. I, uh, I've got my, uh, my, my wife, and four kids. Well, I fit his clothes. Oh. <laughs> huh? Well, you fit his clothes. Ah, uh, let's 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 roll. Let's roll for it. Roll, roll, a, uh, roll a d20. No, roll a d6. <laughs> One to three, your fit is close. Four to six, they're a little too small for you. Nice. Did you just roll? He fits. I rolled hey. a two twice. Uh, it's a bit of roll 20. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yes. I'll, I'll go with you, Atlas. I'll... I'll and, uh, and I say, I say to the guy, just, just look, take your clothes off, pal. He starts taking well, he his clothes off. Take the other clothes off, so this guy's off to sit naked. Nah, nah, this guy can walk home <laughs> naked through the street. How, how about you wear the dead guy's um, outfit, he's, and then I, I wear the he's armor? He's dead, and he's got blood. But, yeah, I'll take this guy's. It's clean. Um, okay, it's, okay. He, he takes him off. No, no problem. He's sat there in yeah, just a pair of boxer shorts. <laughs> yeah, and I, I dump can, the stuff. Can I, can I point out what might be a little flaw in this plan? Of course, point away. It's not my plan. Probably after. expecting just, these just people to rock up. Yeah. Uh, probably expecting these guys to rock up in a truck with a four of security guards. What are you going to do? Just they could just the say they got door. hijacked, but they ran away and got and they got away and the van got. When I worked they... in when I worked and... in the medical, when we when we went to labs, we didn't walk about with the guards. The guards drove us to places, and that's what I did. I drove them, but I never went into these places, so I don't see why they should. It's not really important. If we just walk in like this, it'll be absolutely fine. I don't see any problem. 
I just I mean, saw the roof looking too good. But we still have to get to the front door. <laughs> <laughs> like, the walking in part is easy. It's... They just turned up in a taxi. It's a bit more difficult. Well, they escaped a... They escaped an ambush. Guys, yeah, so there's a massive evacu evacuation going on right now, so I think we're going to be okay to just jump into the crowd. Yeah, R Rico did say to you, Vic, that uh, there's uh, the laboratory and there's a production facility next door. Um, and it's on fire. Yeah. You don't know if that's true or not. Uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe someone can make an investigation roll and actually, maybe check. Yeah. 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 yeah check on the. About that earlier. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Atlas, make an investigation roll. You know, just, just go for it. I'm, I'm sure. Shit. I'm sure. Uh, could you look at these maps and see if there's like a back door or something that they we, they might be able to let us in or something like that? Okay. Um, you've got. You've got the the ramp down to looks like uh, some sort of garage, some underground parking area there. Um, you've got the the Bart Transport Station there that just leads to uh, public transport. Um, there doesn't look on the plans like there's any other door apart from this door here, which looks like it goes into the reception area and the security office door, which is there. Uh, Sai, from your previous corporate security. Um, knowledge, yeah. Basically, that that will be hard one to open. But if you can get access to the security office, you can control the facility. Um, depending on how many people are in there, you don't know. Okay. To... Um, sorry, come. Yeah. I turn around to the technician and say to him, just so we know which way we're going with this. Mm -hmm. What yeah. are these codes for, and who is it you work for? He kind of points at the uniform that Sai is putting on. I, I, I work for Vilnius. Who? What? What? Vilnius. Technician. They, they make synths. They make synths. He's got the. He's got my. It's got a badge on it. Okay. Um. Um. I, 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 the codes get me into the data core. There's been a fire or something, and they've had to shut stuff down. And I've got to secure the data core. So I got told I don't know anything. I mean, Frank, he's got a wife and six kids, <laughs> and they killed him. I just no, uh, Frank just had had a wife and six kids. <laughs> You see, he just kind of breaks down. And, oh, I, I, I don't think that's how it works. No. <laughs> I got a wife and three kids. What's going well, on? Uh, sort so yourself out now. Come on. Uh, Jesus. Maybe I should. I should probably wait in the van with Samuels and this fella. Okay. We can uh, Alice. the garage entrance uh, in case we need to rush in to help out when something inevitably goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. It'll be fine. Right, Atlas, uh, you kind of um, do some quick searching and do some investigating on the uh, the old net. Um, it seems there's a fire. Definitely this, uh, the production facility is next door to this lab. There's also a fire in District 3 at the um, Houston Dynamics, uh, one of the Houston Dynamics factories. And there's also a fire at Shenzhen Solutions, which is another synth-producing uh, cult corporation. So three fires oh, currently in them. San Francisco, San Francisco Fire Department is going absolutely crazy at the moment because they're trying to, to to deal with those and trying not to get caught up with the corporate uh, fire uh, security systems that are trying to take the fires out there. And yeah, it's, it's bedlam. Uh, police are being rooted to the areas to keep control and you kind of picked pick up some images from one of the news feeds and outside um the the vilnius facility there's about 30 or 40 synths just kind of stood there after being evacuated uh, from there uh, just stood there watching the fire or you know looking at what's going on having no direction at all um so, for, for, again, since slave race, manufactured, uh, bioorganic, um, CPU, central core, but skin, blood, and, and flesh uh, as well. Um, 
and they are a, a slave race. And there is, as you guys all saw, a synth liberation front that are also trying to free the oppression against the synths, and they, they, their ideal is to have their own country, synth only country. <laughs> so, <coughs> chaos ensues. You're driving yeah. to the facility? Yeah. Coolio, we shall switch what to here. What could possibly go wrong? What could um, possibly go wrong? And we will just have a look at this. Uh, can you see the new map? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yep, yep, There's yep. a load of people there. And yes, you kind of uh, drive past all these, and these are all in uh, the same one piece outfits. And yes, they are all identical there's males and there's females but they all look pretty much the same some of them have got slightly different color hair uh but they're all pretty much the same um as you kind of park around about here i've kind of put your tokens on there you can see hopefully you can see hopefully you can see the entrance area what's that noise it was part of Cyrus Escape, I think. <laughs> a big, a big giant droid just walked by. <laughs> That's the noise of the factory inside creating yes. things. Okay, yeah. Uh, my my camera streams in the way. Can you just scroll over? Yeah, I think you can see. It. Yeah, you can also see. Um, ba, ba, ba. You'll be able to see this now. Do, do, do. You can see. Yes, you can see a security guard mm. and a security mech. What would one of them be? A robot, robot. basically. Well, we just heard it go walk by, actually. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Um, let me just quickly, quickly. Did I do this before we actually... Uh, bah, 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 bah. where did I do it? No, typical, I didn't actually make one of those because I'm a slacker. Uh, yes, you can see uh, it's, it's a robot, it looks like it's armed, um, and it stood there next to a human guard. And yes, you have five seconds to comply, could well be. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> well, kind of, it's quarter to midnight, so I think. We'll leave it there for this evening. Mm. And bear in mind... Just as I'm about to go into it. Mm. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Atlas has got two like exploits left. And some of you are injured, but Samuels, oh, yeah. would have, Samuels would have healed your injuries, but he can do nothing, nothing to help uh, um, uh, your uh, lack of... Um, Exploits left. Here we go. We can do a quick heal roll after it. Yes, a heal of heal of healed you up to full because you only took minor damage. So you're all be at full hit points. Cool. cool. There right, we then. go. Wow. Nice. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Like. So a, a full. But well, the good thing about that means is that we get to play. We get to play next month then. Yeah. When? Yeah. Well, when we, is we, the next have, game? we have. Next we have one more this month, don't we? Yes. Uh, you, you're ahead of me. Uh, yes. One 23rd. more. Yep. Yeah. But then... if we take a really long time and have a really big fight, then it forces your hand to make us play another game. <laughs> no, you, 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 I, I said before, I can carry on for as, oh, good, yeah. as long as you guys play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going. We're going to so everybody, thank you so much for Yeah, free wave. Everybody well, everybody wave? Yay, yeah. I got my free hand out. Oh you got a free wave. Ah, okay. Um, I mean I got a free hand as well. Look. I didn't say anything for it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you to everybody for coming along and playing today. Thank you to Strain for preparing that adventure for us. That's uh, futuristic cyberpunk shootouts in the street. Um, to Lloyd, Jessica, Mark, the old pirate, myself, Croy VR, and 
Victoria Drake played by Angie Pops. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are going to be back in again tomorrow. Um, Very interesting game happening tomorrow. Yeah, we've got a uh, Mutants and Masterminds special, mm. I think. Is it special? It's unusual. It is special. And yeah, we all good. got our roles to play last night. Yeah, so I'm going to be... I will be Gem. I am sure of that. I am certain that I will be. I am wow. also Gem. Are you uh, sure? Are you, are you sure? sure? Oh, we might be Gem. I, I I don't know who I don't know who Infinity will think I am, but there we <laughs> go. Uh, I will be playing um, an adventure, and there are other people who aren't the usual team that I am in this game with. So it's going to be very unusual and a little bit different. So I I reckon that you want to be thinking about tuning in to that at nine p.m. <laughs> BST. Uh, what's that? Four p.m. Eastern Standard or Eastern Summer? Mm. Or five? Or I can't remember how it works. Yeah. yeah. Eastern time will be five hour difference. Yeah. Let's put so. it this way: he's going in to play his character, and we've all been given some other characters which can. I don't know how that's going to go. Oh no! Well, we don't know anything about it, so let's not. Yeah. Care. Let's so, not uh, tell about like... it. so I, yeah. I've got my suspicions. She spills the beans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, activity guys, thank you so much for coming along tonight. Uh, everybody in chat, thanks to Strain for the five month resub, for Elvin Carey for the raid, um, Yay. Malnerva uh, for the bits, and everybody for uh, following. And also, we're going to raid to Jessica for asking why is there no Facebook page as a Q and A session <laughs> um, for for Sunday, I believe. Oh yeah, Sunday Q and A. We just got to finalise time with Keen and whatever, and anyone else wants to join in and you know talk nerd stuff. Uh, Someone ha- needs to step up because it, I can't do it. No, and if, if uh, you haven't already, please do go over to our YouTube. Our YouTube is ably being updated by Infinity, doing a huge amount of work keeping that up to date. Uh, if you could, please go over, hit the subscribe button, get us to that 100 mark. Uh, magical things happen when we get to 100. Uh, you no longer have to scan a QR code with your phone. <laughs> and you get a short URL. Um, it's easy to remember to come to it. But um, yeah, that's it. That's us. We're going to go great. Who are we raiding Angie Pops? Oh, well, I was going to go a lot. There's one po- people playing Altered Carbon, but they've been on for three hours. So the chances they're of them... finishing pretty soon. Though. Yeah, they're probably going to finish. But yeah, altered, they're playing Altered Carbon, which is a bit cool. Because mm. we could just go and raid them because it's a similar kind of game. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go raid them. Who are we raiding? Who's our target? Um, it's, if you go into tabletop um, RPGs, they've got 98 viewers. Hunters p- Hunters presents Altered Carbon. Hunters Birmingham Uprising episode. Hunters Entertainment. Hunters Entertainment. All Hunters Entertainment. Yeah. Hunters Entertainment. Hunters Entertainment, all one word. Right, we're going to go check out some Alter Carbon, which is an awesome series in its own right. I, I guess it's got other IP as well. Let's go and check out. The game's <laughs> pretty good as well. Yeah. Game's cool. it? I, have, I, have the, I have the game. Nice. Every, everybody just go in and show Dennis. Yeah. Just something. Huh? Let them know they're being raided. If you've got the icons, if you've got yeah, the Frank, Dennis is out. If you've got Frank, then make sure you get your, get your Franks out. <laughs> um, get your Dennis's out and then um, let Frank. the guys we know called him Frank, that didn't we? They are being... not, not a euphemism. Yeah. His actual name Frank, but Infinati wanted it to be called Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of tonight's entertainment. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.